What's up, you guys? This is Zach Jack Dan back with another live stream. This is live stream number seven coming at you talking about Toryville's number one, usually just so we can kind of get caught up and let everybody jump into the stream. But we're also going to be talking about most wanted Marvel Legend build figures. And this is my list that I kind of put together uh, and we'll kind of go over some rules once we get to it. I want to introduce Man Cave Collectible Reviews and also my son, Zach Legend. So uh, I'm excited about this one. This is one of my favorites. Uh, let's first off say hey to some guys in the chat here. We got Marvel Super 77, Cristino Fuentes, The Fig Bro, Mason Climax, Ultra Power Flow. And Ultra Power Flow, you threw a comment in here at 1.10 p.m. first. <laughs> <laughs> Jacob Stanko, uh, Damien Ristori, already said Christino, uh, Captain Canada. So what's up from Canada, man? How you doing? Um, coming to the entrance music like wrestlers. Yeah, man. Bouncing <laughs> off the ropes tag team in here, hopefully. Uh, so I'm going to throw this little question here. Christino says, have we seen the Batman Forever and Batman and Robin figure leak from McFarlane? I have not seen that. You seen no. anything with that yet? Mm -mm. Is that something new? Uh, I'm assuming it would be if they're going all, all the way back to Batman Forever, if they're going to do um, older figures like that. It'd be, be kind of cool for McFarlane to do. Yeah. What I'm all about, about that? I'm all about that one. I'm, and it concerns me, though. I mean, hopefully they'll have the cows up so we won't have to see their faces since he obviously can't do face printing technology. Rough. Rough. That's true. I'm going to tell y'all what, though. Hasbro knows how to do some face print. Have y'all seen the new Star Wars uh, 50th figures, the mm -hmm. Best Buy exclusives? So I picked up two of those today, the Jar Jar and the uh, Mace. Man, that Mace Windu face. I mean, it's like, I hate this. I uh, hope I'm not like getting too carried away here, but this thing is like SH fig. This is like $100 figure face scans. This is not like $20 Hasbro, typical Hasbro, or definitely not DC Multiverse. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they they have some uh, pretty good face print tech. Uh, let's see. So we got uh, I, I'm not going to pronounce his name right. Amiel Apol Rodriguez from from the Philippines here. So that's cool. Yeah, what time is it in the Philippines right now? Yeah, about uh, it's about the same as China, right? So they're what twelve hours south, off from us, south of China. 13, 12, 13 hours. So the new build a figure away from Mr. Hyde, we'll talk about that. I'm excited for the build a figure himself. As you saw, he was on my front uh, cover of my my thumbnail. So front and center, he is he is why I started this video this week or this uh, this topic because that is the build a figure. But Zach, what do you think about the wave? Oh, it's it's, it's horrible. I mean, I, I've heard a lot of negativity about it too. You know, I, I don't know. I mean, I guess if you're MCU collector then you might like it but i think a lot of it's probably just wait until the movie comes out to see if you really like some of those characters more and that's great but you know like you said you're, you're mixing your mcu and your your comic yeah. stuff there so yeah mm. and somebody's hasbro, not somebody's not gonna be happy yeah i think hasbro knows it's a weak wave so they threw a really good build figure in there and it really messed us up uh but i don't know what can you do you know um uh, I mean, it's they got to make the MCU figures, and I guess it's just a way to get people to buy it. So, well, Jerry, honestly, it's, it's MC, Jerry's Jerry's a uh, MCU collector, so he's not liking this either because he, he doesn't like buy yeah. It. yeah, yeah. So, I don't know. Maybe again, like I said, maybe it's one of those things. If you if you watch the movie, you might like the characters more. But overall, I don't. Know, I think Death Dealer looks pretty cool. Yeah, I think he looks all right. But overall, not not a great wave. So Jerry says he got the Qui-Gon and the Windu from Best Buy today, too. Mm. They didn't have Qui-Gon today where I was. Did you not want the droid and uh, and Jar Jar? So is the Jar Jar the exact same Jar Jar as the uh, the other one that was been released to? It looks, right pretty, clo it looks pretty close to me, um, especially being they basically released them almost around the same time. You know, Jar Jar's been out for, what, maybe mm -hmm. two months? And you had them on every single shelf of every store you went to. 
and he's still on every single shelf of every store I go to. Uh, Jacob says, uh, I know this is kind of like an odd question, but I know I'm not stupid question about this, but Mr. Hyde, a villain, right? I'm just making sure. Sorry for my apologies there. So yeah, he is a villain. Uh, he actually made appearance in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. as well, if y'all ever watched that show. But, uh, you know, it wasn't like massive like he is in the comics. He was part of the Thunderbolts for a while. Um, and I'll show off some, some of the pictures and I'll show you the, the choice that they went with with his outfit. See if y'all like that. He said he already had Jar Jar Man Cave. Okay. Hey, what's the uh, packaging look like on that Man Cave? Uh, hold on. Let me grab one. So most likely uh, when we go to Dorkside Toys and order our stuff, um, a lot of times they will sell the Build-A-Figure by itself. Mm -hmm. uh, so we will probably probably do that because we are not MC yeah. collectors at all. And I don't um, think that the majority of the waves individually you know, will sell well anyway if you try to resell it. So, yeah, they just put them on that old blister card like it's a Kenner. Yeah. That's it looks cool. really – like it's – it's definitely it's got kind of like a metallic, uh, you know, sheen to it. So I mean, it's from a display standpoint, I'll keep these in package, um, which you know I never do. But these these look amazing in package. So so now he doesn't have his shield like he does in that other uh, deluxe fit. Yeah, all he's got is his uh, you know his spear or you know his pike, whatever you want to call it. There, that's yeah. all he's got. So. So, yeah, uh, Emil, there's no updates on Walgreens right now, but this Friday we're having the all Hasbro. Uh, what are we calling it? I can't remember what they called it. Yeah, that mace looks really good. You can completely tell that's uh, Samuel L. Jackson. Yeah, I mean, that face, man, I, I just can't get over that. That's just not a. Hasbro knows how to do it. I guess they're not sell, sell, uh, sharing that technology with anybody. Yeah. yeah. And he's got, you know, soft goods. He's got his purple uh, lightsaber. So, you know, he, he looks good. I, I hope they're going to continue to go with uh, with that line. I hope they give us a lot more figures in it. So, Damien, we're gonna, definitely going to talk about the Battletoads. That is going to be uh, talking about the reveals this week. So, uh, and they, they kind of stopped. It was kind of odd. They, were, they have all these shadows of six reveals that are coming for this wave one, and they were doing it day by day by day, and then all of a sudden they just stopped on Friday and we never saw any more reveals again. So it's kind of concerning because, you know, there was some negativity talking about the Megalopolis toys, and uh, Premium DNA supposedly split off from Megalopolis toys. So we'll see where that goes because I really want the Battletoads and the Earthworm Gym. Mm-hmm. There's a whole lot of concern around these this company, these folks in general. Uh, yeah. got, I think I saw the other day where they have like 221 Better Bureau business complaints against them. Mm. So, I mean, that's that's a lot, man. That yeah. is intense. Uh, and, and it's the same guys. I mean, they can they can call it something different if they want, but it's the same two guys that's premium DNA as Megalopolis. So. Mm -hmm. You know, well, they actually can, were using both names uh, when they originally put out the original. the Mad Balls and the uh, Barnyard Commandos, which mm -hmm. look amazing as well. But yeah. none of them have actually physically come out to anybody's. You know, they're still in production, right? Yeah. And I think I think Mad Balls is first slated. I think yeah. they're first slated to come out. Then it would be your Barnyard Commandos. But yeah, um, yeah I, I mean, Mad Balls is supposed to be coming out in in May. Okay, I feel okay. like. So. Hey, what's and, going on, know, Big Expert? With them being so small, you know, I'm sure the COVID virus has not been kind, you know, mm -hmm. to a company like them. Mm -hmm. So you, you hate to make too much of a, you know, a, a judgment on them at this point. Mm -hmm. But man, you just when you go out and just read comments, and I mean, most of the things they do, they cut off comments. Like when they post stuff, they turn their comments off because they, it's just they get blasted in the comment section of anything they do. So, but if you go and just read different things out on the internet about them, it's, it's a very scary situation. I would highly recommend anybody that was going to, going to pre-order this stuff, pre-order it through big bad toy store um, or somebody like that, where you're not committed to it, or if, you know, you're not having to put your money out up front, you know, and that way, if things don't work out, 
you really hadn't lost anything. Well, it's like Zach was saying, uh, one of the head sculpts is exclusive if you order it from premium DNA, right? Yeah. I'm pretty sure I, I heard that with um, the Zitz uh, Battle Toad figure that the interchangeable head sculpt, I think you have to order from premium to actually get that head sculpt. Mm. So let's let's jump in and kind of look at this real quick. Uh, nope, not that. Play your interest. Play your interest music again. I don't want to do that again. No. <laughs> uh, Dorkside has been good, Matt. We've we've uh, done real good with them over the years, and um, they were a little bit slow there around uh, Christmas time during the COVID stuff. But they've they've definitely given us good good uh, product. And if we've ever had a problem, they they fixed it for us. Mm-hmm. So here's the teaser for the uh, Battle Toads with the little shadows, and we did figure out who the other ones were. I uh, did a little research on that too. Me and Zach did. Yep. Um, so first reveal was the Porca Pig. Mm -hmm. So these so are six, these are six inch scale, thirty one points of articulation. So that's a lot of articulation. Now this guy doesn't look like he comes with any kind of weapons or anything. No, but he shouldn't because he doesn't actually have any weapons in the game. So I don't know. I'm ex I'm really excited about this stuff. And mm -hmm. I, I just ho I hope that it actually like goes through and I don't know because the, the, I really want these figures so bad. I mean that looks amazing. It really does. We've, we've been going back and playing Battle Toads all week now. Uh -huh. Oh, have you guys? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice, nice. Zach went and found yeah. some guy on YouTube that played the entire game through without dying in forty five minutes, and I'm like, what the wow. heck, man? Crazy. Ba Battle Toads caused me and my brother a lot of heartache when we were growing up, mm. you know, we would, we'd go and, and rent it. And I actually bought a, a battle toad sealed complete, uh, last week, uh, from NES. So yeah, I'm a big battle toads fan. This, this would look really good with my sealed, uh, video game. Hmm. Cause I actually, I, I figured out that this is, um, this is actually from the battle maniacs game. Pork and pig is. Mm. Mm. So, I did because I didn't. I didn't know. I thought it might have been the same as like the Psycho Pigs, but it's not. Orca Pig is just from uh, Battle Maniacs. See a boss? Uh, no, he's just a um, just a regular character. I I guess what do we what do you call that? Just uh, he shows up all, all over the board, right? Yeah, yeah, and there's three different versions of him too. So just different color variations. Hey, the verse just showed up, and he's asking a little question to everybody here in the in the chat. I guess what superpower would you want and why? Hmm. Mm. So I'd have to say that. super speed for me. Super speed. There's so many things you could do. You know, I mean, there's not enough time in the day unless you have super speed. And there's always enough. You totally took mine. <laughs> mine would have either been super speed or I don't know, like something some Spider Man power. I don't know. Yeah, I've always I've always wanted to fly. Yeah. Yeah. Flying. I've actually yeah. always had dreams that I fly off the roof and stuff. So luckily I've never tried that. I mean, flight would kind of be an extension of speed in a sense that you could get things done faster. You know, you'd be going from here to work uh, the way the crow flies versus using roads. Yeah. So you would save time. So telekinesis in the chat flight, definitely. So I, I got one on my side here. Mm hmm. Uh, I don't know enough about game the gaming systems, uh, man. Can you answer that one from Christino? Um, you know, I, I think, you know, in my opinion, he almost came in a little bit late on the MK11 figures as it was, but uh, there's a lot of hype around them. I mean, you got to look at some of the secondary market prices for especially some of the early ones, like the original sub, the original Scorpion. Uh, you know, they're $75 to $100 figures in package, so – uh, from a from a collector standpoint, I think the desire is there. You don't ever see them on the pegs, so you know they're not peg warmers by any stretch. I don't see why you wouldn't go ahead and try to finish it out. At least the main cast, you know, I th there might be a few more characters that he probably needs to hit from kind of from the main cast of it. But every time yeah. I've got a video, I'm hearing I'm hearing names. Of course, I don't know enough about the names, but I'm hearing names. Why are we getting duplicates? We got this, 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 this still to go. You know. Yeah. Well, that's McFarlane for you. I mean, let's let's look at Batman. You know, how many iterations of Batman are we going to get? You know, before we get Hal Jordan. I mean, it's just 
That's just the way he does business. Mm -hmm. Hey, Collector Warrior Easter was great. We had a great service at church and everything. Uh, so definitely a, a great weekend for us. Have family over and whatnot. Yep. Um, so time travel. What do y'all think about time travel as a power? Mm. Like who actually has crazy. time travel as a power? Yeah. Do we know anybody? Flash did, of course, in the in the movie because he went back in time. Oops, spoiler. Sorry, guys. Uh, time go. tra time travel. So that's your super um, speed thing again, right? Because Superman's done it, and so is Flash. You see, with their super speed, they've yeah. gone back in time. Yeah. Trying to think if there's any. There's nobody. What about Kang? Kang the Conqueror. Is it his power, or is it? just some technology that he has like him and doom have time travel machines. Yeah. And if that's the case, then cable had it, you know, at one yeah. point Bishop, um, booster gold, Dr. Who, those are both, uh, you know, it's just, they have a machine to do it. So it's not a true power. Yeah. I don't can know. They, uh, can America Chavez do it? Or is that just through different? She jumps from dimension to dimension. Okay. So it's not necessarily time control. Mm hmm. <laughs> Doc from Back to the Future. Again, it's a machine, so. Yeah, but either way, I mean, yeah, that'd be a crazy power to deal with. Um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, Doctor Who uses what? The TARDIS? Isn't that, what's it called? Is it the TARDIS? I can't remember what the. <laughs> I've seen one episode. I don't know. I, I, me too. I, I don't even know if I've seen one full episode of Doctor Who. Our buddy, uh, what's, what's his name that loves? Uh... The Quincy. Quincy, oh my yeah. gosh! Yeah, yeah, that's whenever we were he, going to the conventions, I had to go watch one episode for him. That's that's who we need in here right now because he could tell us all about it. Do you guys remember the 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 show Heroes? Oh, of I course. love the show Heroes. Yes, of course. Ended way too early. Well, and they came back with a second version of it. They did. They and did. And so that kind of at least gave us some some hope and some some ending to it. Yeah. And yes, but he I, definitely had travel powers. That was a little. Um, Japanese guy, I think that had the yeah, ability to travel. That's true. I think his name was. I think his name was Hero. His name was Hero. Oh, yep. Yeah. All right. So here's the pork or pig. Next one is the rat bones. Mm -hmm. And as rat bones is technically going to be considered an army builder. You got the three different color shields that's going to come with him, so that you can have all three of them for the Dark Queen's army. Right. I mean, but technically, you can get as many as you want for both pork yes. or pig and, and rat bones. As they're just yeah. regular, you know, throughout the level of villains. Uh, but Rat Bones is also from uh, Battle Maniacs. So what uh, what system is that on, Zach? I can't remember. Do you know that one, Man Cave? Uh, I want to say that was SNES, right? Super SNES? NES? Yeah. So I had no idea that Battletoads was on both Nintendo and Sega. So I actually played the Sega version as well. Uh, a lot more crisp, you know. You can actually see the grass and whatnot, not grass necessarily, but you can see the, the colors a lot better in the uh, Sega version versus the Nintendo version. That's 16-bit compared to 8-bit there. So right. double the double the probably pixels and processing power. Mm -hmm. All right. Then we got your first uh, Toad, Zitz. And he is the next to largest of the Toads. So the smallest is... Uh, rash and then the largest is pimple and pimple has got that brown color to his skin mm -hmm. and so zach thinks that this this other head sculpt right here it would be an exclusive if you bought it from premium dna i think is what you're saying right yeah at least that's where i think i think that uh i was reading something on instagram and there was some comment about that so i don't know i could be wrong but i think that's from what i understand yeah mm. So I haven't played any other Battletoads besides the originals. I've never played any of the, the uh, Battletoads versus, what was it, Double Dragon? Battletoads and Double Dragon, yeah. And then any of the newer ones either. Uh, Matt W. is asking if you played the newest one. What is the newest one called? I so probably have not. Uh, with the one that came out in 2020? Yeah, I'm there, I don't is know. there I one that came like, out in 2020? Yeah, there is one that came out in 2020. I didn't really okay. like the graphics on it. Was that the uh, oh yeah that's right that's the one you showed me those weird graphics on wasn't it yeah yeah that looks really yeah. strange so I remember the hand right the hand would get yeah. huge the feet would get huge yeah. but I don't remember anything with a drill or the the sled here 
Do you remember anything with that? I don't think they've – I don't. I, I can't. But, again, man, it has been two decades probably since I played Battletoads. So maybe that's – like you said, Zach, maybe this is part of the uh, – that other game instead. I have no Battle idea. Battle Maniacs maybe had it. I can't remember. There's there's a lot of stuff. So which head sculpt do you like better, the, the grinning or the open? I think I kind of like the grinning. Yeah. I, mean, I don't really have much of a preference, to be honest. I think either one's fine. But, yeah. That second head sculpt is not worth taking a shot through premium DNA. In my <laughs> <opinion>. <laughs> it's not worth it. Mm. It is not worth it. So yeah. at $30 a shot for these, I, I feel good for spending $30 on this guy because he actually has so many accessories that comes with him, right? Is that what they're saying is the Just price? 35 35 35 yeah. Okay. I'm good with that. I'm good but, with 35. You know, compared to the other guys, they don't have a lot to come with them compared to what he does. Yeah. But honestly, there's not really anything else they can come with. Yeah. So looking at the shadows, um, Zach and I determined that one of them, which is the largest one in the background there, right, Zach? Mm hmm. Is this guy, General Slaughter. So he's a bull. Mm. Yep. So that's going to be uh, one of the other ones that's going to be revealed in wave one. So I, I'm good with this. And this looks pretty awesome. Definitely. And, and uh, then, the you know, how, how far are you willing to buy the the villains in this kind of wave? Depends on how cool they look. I mean, like, if he looks if he looks like that, I, I want him just because how he looks. Mm -hmm. And he's 10 foot, five inches tall. So he's going to be massive. Yeah, he was huge yeah, compared to all the other ones. Yeah. I'm, I'm liking that. I think if I can show that shadow right here. I mean, look how big Ooh. he is compared to everybody. Yeah, he's big. That'll be a $100 figure. Huh. You know, that's the thing. Yeah. Maybe that's all they did was showed off the ones that are just the $30 figures this week. But I thought they no, were going to show all these figures off was the way. I know. They, me too. That, that's that's kind of how they portrayed the Instagram post. Exactly. Yeah. But was the, the like every day there was going to be a new reveal. So, I, uh, yeah, that's already just a red flag to me. It's already concerning. Mm. All right, the other one that uh, is the General Vermin, and they actually had shown off prototype pictures of him a while back. Mm -hmm. So he looks pretty cool. Yeah, he does. I, I like those nails on his feet and his hands. Those, those look nice. And then mm -hmm. got the spikes on his shoulders, nice ears. Mm -hmm. So I'm good and with he, that one too. Again, he's another boss, but he's also sort of, I think in Battle Maniacs, he was also sort of just a general bad guy. That kept showing up. But, yeah, definitely a cool one. And then the other one is the smaller frog, Rash, and he's got the sunglasses. And I'd love, you know, since they showed the handoff with the, with Zitz, hopefully we'll get like a foot or something with Rash. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking they'll do. Yep. So I never knew who I was playing with whenever I was playing the original NES game. I just, you know, whoever came down the line was who I was playing with and, well, I don't feel like I don't feel like the original had sunglasses, did he? Mm -mm. But I, whenever I was playing, because you know, I was just playing Battletoads this past week, and uh, I remember like every time that, well, actually, I don't know. I felt like, and in, in sometimes like it would be his foot kicking, and other times he'd be like having a big hand punching out. So I don't really know if they they really knew what they were doing when it came to uh, deciding. You know which which actual toad it was. So Zach, when you were looking through all those villains, did you get uh did you see a Silas Volkmir and a Stonehog? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So those so, are pretty cool. The Silas was remember the one I showed you that was like you said it was super creepy looking. That with all the oh was that the tentacle guy? No, that's uh, Robomanus. Okay. Um, Silas. That was the one that you can see his brain. Yeah. 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 And then. I don't know if his name's Stonehog. I think his name's Rocky, maybe. Okay. I don't remember like the the sort of the rock looking pig. Yep, yep. I told you yeah. he looked pretty cool. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's be cool. So uh, I'm gonna go back and kind of say something for. I think it was Jacob that was trying to say it. He wants to kind of throw something out here to everybody about the Doctor Strange two way. What he's hoping to see. Mm -hmm. Um. And I agree with the majority of it. I don't know that I'd want a Clea figure necessarily, 
Um, but he had Baron Mordo. I'd like to see that. Nightmare. Mephisto. And we'll kind of talk about Mephisto later on in, in this uh, in this stream as well. Yep. So that's the Toads. What do you guys think about the Toads? Y'all good with these so far? Oh, for sure. It's just we need Super 7 to do it, huh? Yeah. Yeah, Super 7 or NECA. Yeah. You know? And, yeah. and, you know, maybe if it falls through with premium DNA, maybe one of those two will be like, hey, man, we saw a lot of hype around this. Let's try to scoop up the license, you know? Mm -hmm. But you know, either way, I, just, I don't know. I feel like for me, it's worth the risk. I don't know. It, it's hard to say because I re like, I really want some battle toads, you know. <laughs> so it's it's hard because if no one, if no one, if everyone's too scared to buy from them, then it's not going to go anywhere. Right. That's that's the thing. Uh, and, all right. And so my, that's, my guess is they're not gonna they're not gonna do the line based on people pre ordering through Big Bad and you know, th those types of outlets because that's not guaranteed money. You know, you can go in and cancel a big bad order anytime or a dork side order anytime, you know, that's true. So they're going to, they're going to really probably base it off how much they get through their direct, um, you know, company. Yeah. I never got anywhere with this game without the game genie. This game was so hard. Yep, Game genie was a must. Oh my gosh. All right, so this is cool. Uh, I got a little tweet here from NECA that once per month, they are actually going to reveal our uh, gla uh, sorry Gargoyles figures. So that's really exciting news that we'll actually start seeing some of these uh, each month from NECA. So I definitely got my Goliath ordered. And I <laughs> man, I've got two of them ordered. Yep, yep. Cat, Dog, and Rocket Power. I don't know them. Super 7. Yeah, I don't know that. All right, here's some cycles. What do y'all think about these uh, motorcycles from, um, I guess they're going in collaboration with the Hasbro. Flame Toys. But you got yeah. Flame Toys in collaboration yeah. with Hasbro giving us these uh, Snake Eyes and Storm Shadow bikes. Yeah. Huh. Ain't Flame Toys doing? Haven't they already shown the... Yeah, they did. They showed the uh, Snake Eyes and the, and the Storm Shadow already. Yeah, so this is just to go with them. Which pretty cool. Yeah, I don't mind it. Uh, very, I don't, very I don't realistic. Know those two, I don't know that those two characters have a huge tie to a motorcycle mm -hmm. that I can remember, at least not from the original show. If it came later, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. They haven't given us a price on the bikes yet. Noni, you probably don't want to know what the price is. It was Flame <laughs> Toys. <laughs> probably like 200 that. $250 or something. It's like that Batmobile from Hot Toys last week. You know, I'd love to see the price on that thing. Yeah. Yeah, Golly. I'm sure it'll be it'll be $1,200, I have no doubt. Good gracious. Mm. If All not right, more. So this was the uh, Platinum edition of Gorilla Grodd. So already, I don't even think we've seen the, the gold version, uh, gold armor version out in the stores anywhere yet. But uh, already a Platinum version coming out of the Gorilla Grodd. Yep. And Zach saw this in the background of one of uh, McFarlane's speeches or whatever you want to call it, one of his live videos. Mm -hmm. So we knew that was coming. And so there should be a white version of the a Injustice Flash, Flash as well. Yep. That you saw in the background. Mm -hmm. All right. So what do you think about this one, Man Cave? This is right up your alley. Yeah. I mean, it's reaction. So that's, you know, I don't do reaction, but I think that looks fantastic for a reaction figure. This is probably the best looking reaction figure I've ever seen them do. Yeah, I, I would agree. Because it actually has some depth in the sculpt. You know, it's not just a flat, flat front, flat back. Like it's actually got some detailed and sculpt work in it. But we need uh, that character. I can't remember his name, but he just would eat everything. This guy, uh, his yeah. name is P Pudgy Pig. Pudgy Pig. Yeah, it was just they just throw food in his mouth and uh really corny, but it would be cool to get him in like the Super Seven main line, which we're still waiting to get some type of teasers on. Mm -hmm. Uh or Hasbro's Lightning Collection. Yeah. So it's odd, and of course, you know there's humans under the costumes, but it, it's so weird to see his little claws out there past his actual hands holding the fork and the uh the knife. Yeah. 
Oh, that is kind of strange looking, actually. But I'm sure that's how it was in the in the show too, because you know Probably they had to so. have. Um, so Christino, they definitely McFarlane definitely needs to go out to everybody's rogues gallery besides Batman's and give all kinds of rogues out there, but definitely the Flash rogues need some love. Mm-hmm. Besides just Grodd. Yeah. All right, what do you think about the Sentinel Toys Deadpool? Sentinel, that's cool right there. Uh, There's a lot of these out there. You know, they've already got Wolverine, Captain America. They've got a whole slew of these out there, and I almost jumped in, and then I just told myself I don't need another line to try to go down. It's $100 a figure, but but I like these. I think they look really good. The Kind of the idea behind them is cool. You know, this is a kind of a what-if Tony Stark produced suits for everybody, you know, Mm -hmm. kind of deal. So I like it. Uh, I think it's a cool looking, cool concept. Looking figure. Like I said, now uh, what scale are these, man? Have you know? So they're about six and a half inches, maybe seven inches. I, I actually seen one in person about two weeks ago on a toy hunt in and a toy you store. Know, and for for somebody to wear armor, you actually want them to be a little bit bigger anyway. That's what's yeah. kind of always bothered me about our Marvel Legend Iron Man figures is they're the same scale as as a mm-hmm. Captain America figure. Yeah. yeah. So the, these could probably fit in with a Hasbro. Um, Marvel Legends line size wise they might be slightly bigger but like you said that would fit being they're supposedly in armor mm-hmm. um, but you know it, they would look odd from the standpoint they're just a lot more detailed and and so much more paint that type of yeah. thing so it kind of it kind of stand out not really match up with a $20 figure so there's your, a couple of your other figures the Wolverine the Iron Man of course and the uh, Spider-Man Yep. It's a cool concept. Yeah, definitely. And I don't know why Wolverine would need armor, but <laughs> Deadpool either, I guess, technically. Yeah, neither one of them. But it's just a cool look. All right. What do you think about, since you're a turtle man, mm, that's cool. This, this pinball box that actually comes with a Shredder action figure. Of course, it is just a repaint of the, the cartoon turtle. Yeah. So, so these are forty nine ninety nine. They just started hitting Walmart this week, and they're going to hit Walmart's nationwide over the next two weeks. So be on the lookout for these. Um, if I can find one, I'll probably pick one up. Uh, we'll review it on the channel, take a look at it, um, kind of do a comparison with the shredder. I kind of I like the metallic looking shredder. I think it's I cool. Do too. Oh yeah, I do too. Mm-hmm. But I don't know how it will fit in with our our cartoons because you, you know you don't see the the black lines down the side anymore. Right. Right. So, but I like this style. You know, I think that they could yeah. do the exact same thing, same exact molds as our cartoon and just give us a regular, a regular version two line like this. Mm-hmm. Do, do we have a, do we have a picture of what the shredder comes in, in box? Is he in a box in the box or is he just kind of loose? In, so here in is the back of the package that he is physically in. Okay. Okay. And then here is the oh, okay. box. So you have a box I, within a box. I love that box. Good night. Look at that. Look at the artwork on that box. Mm-hmm. So, so he, this guy will stay in package. I won't take him out. I, I love that artwork. That Bebop and Rocksteady. That looks I great. mean, this, I actually like this artwork better than the artwork we get on the regular TMNT neck line. Mm-hmm. I agree. So he said, the guys just said something about a beanie. Is this yeah. a beanie? Yeah. Oh my yeah, gosh, that's, that's a beanie. A, that's a beanie. I would <laughs> never <laughs> put that on my head. I would You're not. Kidding. I wouldn't. So if your, I, fan, your fans are wanting you to do it. If I get it, I'll wear it in the live stream. Mm. Just the live stream. That's You're it. I'm going to wear it on wear a toy that, that ain't going out of this house. You got to wear it on mm. a toy hunt, they're saying. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't think so. That I could be, I don't know. That could be. I don't a see bonus. that happen. People already look at me crazy enough when I'm, you know, like, like, Hey, little seven year old, what are you doing in my way? I'm trying to film. Like people are already <laughs> looking at me like I'm crazy, you know, like, so yeah, I got to, I got to draw the line somewhere. Mm-hmm. So I don't get the cops called on me in the toy section at Walmart. Yeah. I really like the way this guy looks. I do too. I do too, man. I, I uh, I saw Noni. Noni says he can totally uh, skip the shredder. He wants the crane beanie. So Noni, that's what we'll do then. Let's let's go half and half. I'll take shredder. You take the crane beanie. Whichever one of us finds it, just 
reach out to me on Instagram. <laughs> so don't go to jail wearing the crane beanie. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Definitely don't go to jail wearing the crane beanie. Yeah. Mm. So yeah, that was exciting right there. I like the way that that looks already. It, it was kind of odd, you know, it's just a weird, you know, box set that they threw out there. Yeah, it is. It was, it just came out of nowhere. Yep. And, uh, yeah. Especially since it's Walmart too, which is usually mm-hmm. where the movie stuff is. Yep. But again, it's not, it's not the cartoon. It just happens to be the same, uh, same mold, but it's not technically cartoon, right? Yep. It doesn't have I- that same paint scheme on it. Yeah, I mean, I think it's just a different design, kind of like what they did with, uh, you know, the the Shadow Shredder, you know, for the movie yeah. line. Just yeah. kind of their own, kind of their own deal, their own creation. Um, I like it. I, I mean, to me, this kind of makes me wonder: like, are we going to maybe get the main characters right. in a in a not cartoony? Design like could we get the turtles that are painted in a certain way? Maybe even a metallic paint for the turtles. I, you know, I don't know. It'd be be kind of cool if they went off and did something totally different. Hmm. My wallet doesn't need them to do that, but yeah, it would be cool if they did it. Well, you skipped out on the arcade stuff. Would you would you trade up from our cartoon version to this version? Like completely get out of your cartoon turtles and go to this style instead? Uh, no, no, we're too deep into cartoon turtles now. Yeah. Uh, I done I done army built triceratons like we're in. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> like there's no turning back when I'm army building. I hate army building and I army built. So yeah, we ain't turning back on the cartoon turtles. Oh man, you're getting called out right now, man cave. Uh oh, what is it now? Oh no, the collectible warriors coming after me. Don't worry about you. You're just you were the hat, but when you Stop offering candy to kids, man. Cave cops going. That's true, you. man. That's true. I, I got the. I just have to draw the line there, man. Mm. I have to draw the line. All right. What so the heck get, is this? We did Please get explain. a retro vintage uh, reveal this week and got it pre-ordered mm-hmm. already as well. This is Webman, and he was created by Doctor Doom in a. What kind of machine was it? I have no idea. It's a clone. It's a. Uh, it's called it, a twin. It's a twin machine. So. Yeah. It created a duplicate of him, but it was a complete opposite. And it said that this guy's actually a moron. Mm-hmm. So this is comic based. Yes. yes. Okay. Okay. I, like I didn't know that. I, I, I like the color scheme. I think it's it's nice looking, but I did not know this was based on a comic story. I think he was only in like one issue. I um, saw a few. I saw a few covers with him on it, Zach. Well, I mean, just because he's on a cover doesn't mean he's actually in it. That's true. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I mean, I like Cyborg Spider-Man. You know, it's not yeah. like he had a huge run either. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I mean, it's, it's he's the opposite from Spider-Man in every way. So, okay. yeah. And uh, he was pretty easy to defeat since he was so dumb. <laughs> so it's very interesting. Um, I really thought we was actually going to get an entire Spider-Man line revealed to us rather than just one figure. Mm. And uh, I know, I think Rectangular teased the entire layout of what we were going to be getting for that. Remember that? Uh, for what else was in the leaked vintage wave? I mean, I don't think it was a wave. I think it was just we were going to get a hobgoblin. We were going to get a um, yeah. black suit Spider Man. Yeah, either that or a Craven. Yep. Um, but yeah, just uh, I guess a few fan channels. You know. Hey, uh, Jacob brings up a really nice point. This is something I think me and me and Dan have actually had a conversation on. Weapon H yep. figure. Mm-hmm. Yep. That would be amazing. A build a figure. That'd have to be a build a figure. I would think. And we'll get to that. Oh, okay. So you actually got that coming. Okay. Yep. So here's some more shots of them. I like the colors. I think this is going to look really good. It's going to pop on the shelf. Oh, yeah, completely. But I feel like the problem is, you know, technically he's not really Spider Verse. He wasn't part of the part of that group. That's true. That's true. And he's a villain. So, yep. Yep. Uh, But yeah, I don't know. It's cool. I just feel like they should have used the retro Spotty Body. Because this is, I think this might be the Sunfire body. Okay. Uh, I think possibly. Uh, <laughs> Collective Warriors giving you props there. He said, uh, "Go to Man Cave's uh, link in in the description of his channel to uh, for Big Bad Toys to order order this." <laughs> I'm gonna do it even. I'm gonna do it even better. I'm gonna I'm gonna drop it in the drop it in the comment section. Just use that <laughs> link right there. <laughs> 
Heck, even if you don't order it, just use the link and go look at stuff. Go look at new stuff up for pre-order. Vintage and Carnage Retro. I'm not ready to see another Venom and Carnage yet. You know they'll do it, though. Yeah. yeah. Just, I mean, yeah. I understand because we haven't got them on, on card, and a lot of people are keeping these on card. So. They definitely need to put them on card eventually. And I, I think it'll be pretty soon. All right, so this was big right here to me. This is mm. literally the most head sculpts I have ever seen in any figure in my life. Yep. Yeah, that's insane. Got eight interchangeable heads. So when yeah. they show this off at Mezco Toys Fair, I was excited because it definitely did look better, you know, whenever we just saw basically this image on the left than the other Wolverines we, we saw. And we talked about that that week, that this was definitely better looking than any of them. And actually, if you actually asked the question, you know, which ones did you not like? No. What, was we talking about this? We were talking about Marvel Select. We were talking about Marvel Select, weren't we? Yeah, I think so. Anyway, this right here looks better than any of the other Mezco Wolverines. And it's got eight heads, 12 interchangeable hands, all these claw marks that you can uh, use in action, different belts, the stand. And then you look down below his feet. And he has a light up sentinel base. Mm -hmm. This is amazing. Did you get this order, Manko? Got a pre order. The oh BBTS. This yep. will be amazing right here. And, and you know, I got out of Mezco. I don't even collect Mezco for the most part. Uh, Mezco is going to kind of, kind of a pick and choose what I like. And, and this was one. You know, Wolverine's my favorite character probably in the Marvel Universe. So I, I got to have this, man. Yeah, I got it. I love that head sculpt where you can see his adamantium in his skull. Oh my gosh, I know that's totally awesome. Hang on, did I get it? Yeah, I got it right here. That is amazing looking. That is. And then even his regular sculpt there, you got the bone claws too that you can have. Yep. And mm -hmm. just just look at the regular adamantium claws. Just yeah. look how perfect they yeah. are. I mean, they are perfectly done. Hey, uh, Jerry. They pushed my Hellfire Club uh, set back to May. I got an email saying they got pushed back, so wow. I'm still still holding off for that one. But, I mean, just that Sentinel base in itself and the fact that you, you can remove the eye, it lights up for you, that, that's amazing yep. right there just in itself. Yep. It is. Yeah. I, I wish we could tell a little better the scale of that diorama, like how big the, you know, it acts, it's kind of hard to tell from the pictures of how, you know, how big it actually is. Yeah. Um, it'd be interested to know, is it, is it similar in size to like the HasLab one coming? No. That would be interesting to know. You don't think so? No. I mean. I mean, that's an almost seven inch figure and he's standing on it. He's standing like all the way. Yeah. I mean, standing well, you on gotta it. you got to think with the HasLab Sentinel, a Marvel legend literally comes up to his knee. To the HasLab Sentinel's knee. Yeah. So I mean, this is nowhere near that scale. Yeah, it's not. 23 inches. Maybe it's more around the scale of the Toy Biz build a figure. That's what I'm thinking. Is that now, the head, the head is bigger on this, definitely. Because the Toy Biz yeah. uh, head is tiny. It's kind of small, yeah. yeah. It's, it's a very thin build a figure, kind of in general. It's kind of a thin, thinly built Sentinel. So I don't know if you guys have seen it. I'm sure you probably haven't yet, but I did put out my top 10 tour reveals of the week, and this was my number one of the week. What do you guys think about that? I think you chose well. I think so. I'm still hooked on battle. Well, I am too, and it was my number one until I remember that I had this in the in the list. Yeah. yeah. Well, and also, too, if we're going to pick things that we really think are going to come out, we know this is coming. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> if you put it that way, then yeah. <laughs> Or at least come out in the next two or three years, you know. I mean, uh, oh gosh, man! Imagine if Marvel Legends started giving us a bunch of head sculpts like this. Oh my gosh, geez, man! Or go because this box set's like, not even that expensive, really, right? It's like a hundred bucks, wasn't it? One fifty-five. So, oh. mm. one fifty-five. I think your typical Mezco is right around the hundred dollar range. Uh, yeah, Noni has a really good point. Uh, I see this is a lot of people's first Mezco. That's a fact. I think this will make people think about Mezco in a big way. Well, I'd already started thinking about it with that other reveal of, of the uh, G.I. Joe Destro. Yeah. And now you got this right here. Holy cow. Yeah. yeah. 
I'm liking it. All right, let's jump out of here if I can. Let's see. All right, so let's jump into our subject matter of the night and talk about some. This is still uh, a reveal, so let's talk about this first. Um, but it is still our topic of build a figure. So we had the Shang Chi wave uh, leaked. Somebody actually got them in hand and, and took some photos for us. So we already knew about the Civil Warrior and the Tony Stark AI. But we didn't know what the we knew names that were going to be in the wave because of Rectangular. Uh, so we knew the Shang-Chi and the Death Dealer. But Rectangular was actually wrong on these other two names. Very similar names that he had out there, but they, they weren't exactly the same for the Xiling and the Wen Wu. Uh, again, uh, the fact that this leaked so early, kind of like the Eternals did, it's going to throw us off because we don't know anything about them yet. We don't know anything about the movie yet. And, you know, once the movie comes out and it's as good or, or up there on scale to a Mortal Kombat type movie with the uh, tournament stuff, we might be like, oh, man, these are awesome. Hmm. But I'm still not going to collect MCU. So, yeah. So as we see in the box, though, we see, especially in Captain America's uh, box, you see a a head there with a hat on it for Mr. Hyde. And also in Xi Ling's, you see the torso with the, uh, the bow tie and the green suit. Mm -hmm. So we knew that we were getting Mr. Hyde in this wave. And so here's a few of the different versions that we've seen of Mr. Hyde in the comics over the years. So the one we are getting is the one in the middle there with the cane. So what do y'all think about that version versus the other versions that have been in the comics? Is that the right version to choose from? Uh, for a build a figure, I mean it. It works for me. I don't mind it. So there are aspects of this guy to me that that, and Zach said this on his video that I believe are probably the kingpin. Either that or the Joe Fix It. But they've definitely changed up the collar portion. Mm -hmm. So it's probably so, so that is a completely new mold just for the collar uh, portion right there. Right. But my assumption is at least part of the, the arms and the legs probably be reuse. Yeah. But I don't know. Did they show a shoe off in anybody's? Nope. It's just nope. the top of the legs. So. Yeah, this will probably be. Do you think that, this, that now that these have leaked, that they'll actually do the reveal for this during to this uh, Friday's no. stream? You don't no. think so? I, I don't think they'll be able to because we don't even have a trailer for Shang-Chi yet. And I mean, just looking at Death Dealer alone, that's a big leak, you know, because yeah. we really didn't even know Death Dealer was going to be in the movie. Yeah. You know, my assumption was that Death Dealer was going to be a comic based figure in this wave. So the fact that he's an MCU is, is very shocking. Hey, uh, Collector Warrior, the problem that is, you know, these movies were supposed to have come out already. And so they made the figures long ago, just like this one, just like the Eternals and this one, which I'll show the Eternals here in a second. And even the uh, the Falcon and the Winter Soldier, I guess, must have gotten pushed back, too. Did it get pushed back, Zach? Or did it come out right when they thought it was going to? No, it was supposed to come out last year. Yeah. So all these things were prepared and ready to go. And so sitting on a ship somewhere and, and a Walmart grabs it up and throws it out or something. It, it makes sense. They don't know what they're doing. They just see something and put it on the shelf. <sighs> yeah. But overall, I mean, the way for me just... Seems pretty weak. I mean, they come with a lot of accessories. They do. Which is very surprising. They do. But this is probably the weakest wave I've ever seen of Marvel Legends. Yeah. I mean, it's not great. And I mean, the choice is like, I'm sorry, but like Civil Warrior and the AI Iron Man, there's just straight repaints. I mean, I don't even really care for those that much mm -mm. at all, really. I mean, the Iron Man's great for people that missed out in the first one or, or want maybe that color instead, but... I don't know. So, Jacob, the Mr. Hyde is a definite for us. That's that's a must. That was on my top ten list for years of, of my most wanted uh, build of figures. Mm -hmm. So that's another one I get to strike off. Yeah. So I got corrected a lot in the comments because a Win Woo apparently is the Mandarin. Win Woo is the Mandarin? Okay. So I did not know that. but Well, that's because we hadn't seen the movie, right? Yeah, exactly. Interesting, but it's still not the main we want to see. 
Well, it's the MCU look, I guess. Because apparently you see like the ten rings wrapped around his arms. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So it's not actual rings, they're actually Right, right. Weird. So Man, that's really that's strange. Mm-hmm. So looking at a wave like this and knowing or hearing rumors that we're going to have a Fin Fang Foom in this wave. Did we hear what? rumors for that? Oh, yeah. Hmm. Not in the wave. I'm sorry. In the movie. Oh, in the movie. Yeah. Yeah. Should this have been a time that Marvel Hasbro is like, all right, let's throw out a big guy in here. I mean, they wouldn't be able to get it in, in six figures. I mean, they're supposedly going to have a tournament. So, I mean, like, make all kinds of figures. Supposedly Omega Red's going to be in this movie, right? Mm, possibly. I mean, there's all kinds of figures they can make out of this. Yeah. So, yeah, I think this could have been like a two or three wave. Give me a massive Build-A-Figure, and we'd, we'd actually probably buy this whole wave up for you get from them guys. Well, I guess if you were an MCU fan. But I'm assuming probably the Fin Fang Foom look is going to be completely different. Yeah, you're right. Actual film. You're right. All right. So, yeah, I'm saying the one they chose was a good version for the Mr. Hyde. And I think y'all both agree with me. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. All right. So, the other leaks that we had this past week were for the fact that we are getting the uh, Falcon Wings as they build a figure. When they gave us the wings back in the day for the Vulture Wings, that was probably one of my most disappointing. Uh, build of figures that I'd seen in Marvel Legends. Now, for MCU collectors, they might have loved it. This is nowhere near the scale of what those wings were for that vulture. Right. And yet they're making the build a figure. At least that's what we think it's going to be. I mean, we know, uh, yeah, I mean, we know that's at least part of the build a figure. And I, I would assume that Falcon is going to be his own separate figure. But yeah, that's disappointing to me too. Well, y'all are telling me that the just the wings, not the Falcon, is the build a figure. Yep. Right. <laughs> so they did the same thing with the the uh, the vulture. The Michael you had Keaton, individual. You had an individual vulture. Michael Keaton vulture figure with no wings in it, and you had to buy all the figures in the wave to get his wings. That's they ought not do that to the collector. That's kind no. of wrong in a sense. No, there's plenty of room in these packages to fit all the wings in Falcon's own box. He, he didn't need to be the bill figure. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's a cash grab there. They're just, that's, that's kind of sad. I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't know what to make the build a figure for the wave. I can say that, but. I just hope the goodness, this ain't some kind of a retool of the, the last Falcons. Wings oh, no. we got. Surely, be surely good. they're better than that. Right. I, I would hope so. Well, we haven't seen check. I mean, I mean, they're in pieces there, and I, I, there's a hinge there. I don't. There's not definitely not a hinge on the original one. So, there's well, yeah. four. The original one is what four pieces to make the wings, right? Yeah, one on each like arm. But this right here actually looks like it has hinges built into it. So yeah. anyway, none of these pictures are of the actual uh, Falcon with it. That is the Marvel Select Falcon that they showed off last week, and then oh. just some some strange uh, fan art of Anthony Mackie there, I guess. Mm-hmm. So don't think that either any of this is the actual build a figure wings. Um, so we technically haven't seen any of these truly announced except our next one here, which is the Baron Zemo showing off finally. Mm -hmm. So this angle of the mask of makes it looks really stupid. Yeah. So we got a lot of MCU right. figures coming, don't we? Oh my gosh. This whole yeah. year they said it was going to be all MCU. I, I feel like uh, it's definitely more than half of the figures this year should be MCU. Yeah. So, so for, for us, that's actually, you know, nice that we can actually expand out to other collectibles, collectibles this year, like the battle toes and the turtles and stuff and not feel, feel stressed out by the prices. Mm -hmm. It'll be interesting to see as well. Do these hang on the pegs the way the comic book Marvel legends we're seeing are hanging around like the, like the, well, it's really the movie, but the, the new into the spider verse. Uh, I cannot Miles believe how many, how many of the Peter B. Parkers are seeing Frogman, Peter B. Parker, man, they're just, I mean, you know, you'll see five or six just hanging on a peg and other toy hunter friends I have in the community. Uh, they're seeing the same thing. I mean, it's just, it's crazy, man. Yeah. So to me, whenever you had these in hand, was Peter B. Parker not one of your favorites? 
I thought it was great. Yeah. I mean, I, th- so, I thought all, all of the Spider-Verse figures were great. You know? Yeah. I mean, I mean even, even, even uh, Frogman is great. Yeah. I mean, my least favorite figure in that way was the Hand Ninja. Mm-hmm. Um, so it was it was still a good wave. I feel like this wave will sell better. I, I don't really know if there's necessarily a weak spot in the wave, besides the build a figure being the wings. Right. But you still but, have to get that. You know? I mean, it, with all the hype from Disney Plus and all the, I mean, the fact that this show supposedly has actually done better than the Wandavision show did, which is surprising to me. Really surprising because this show so far to me and to Zach has not been there. What do you think, but, Man Cave? Well, you know, I think Wandavision. Uh, the first two episodes, I think, really kind of turned people off of one division. Mm-hmm. They people weren't willing to. We live in a culture and a society nowadays. We just need constant grat. We need we need quick. We need like excitement right out the gate, you know. And I even I literally I watched the first two episodes and then it like paused for three weeks before I like caught back up. You gave another try love with the show, yeah. yeah. So I think a lot of people watch those first two episodes and they're like, "What the heck is this?" Ma-? You know, if mm-hmm. you just watch the first two episodes and quit, you're absolutely going to be like, "That's garbage," you know. Right. So I can see, I can see how that happened. All right, and here's your other head sculpt here as well, and then it comes with a book. Mm-hmm. So I think this will be probably one of the best sailors in the wave. The Baron will, yeah. I, I would assume so. I'm wondering if that book's reused from um, Gwen. From yeah, Gwen. I, I don't think it is, but hey, look, uh, I'm looking at it right now, man. It sure does look like it. Even the color looks like it. Huh. Really? I don't. I mean, I, I'm looking at the book, and it is sure similar. Hmm. Maybe it is, but I yeah, I think I think Burns Nemo will definitely be uh, one of the best sailors sailors in the wave. Yeah, Collectible Warrior, you definitely came in late because they're they're definitely you know taking us us fans for granted right now with the fact that they're especially whenever you're talking to Zach about the fact that we're just getting repaints of the uh, Tony Stark and the Civil mm-hmm. Warrior like they are, mm-hmm. and then they did did the same thing with that second game reverse wave when they gave us the Stealth Cap, yeah, and the uh, you, the blue but, version of the Iron Man. Mm-hmm. But you, but you know, Legends probably gets a bad rap for that. But tell me a company that doesn't do it. Yeah. You know, look at D, look at McFarlane right now. Look at look at NECA. You know, how many times is NECA going to give us the turtles repainted in some fashion? Mm-hmm. You know, foot soldiers. How many foot soldiers are they going to force us to buy? You know, they all do it. You know, Marvel Legends just gets a bad rap because they're the biggest of them. Well, you know, I think the most collected. I think the biggest reason for that is because it's in the build a figure wave where you have to buy the figures to get the build a figure. So it's, it, it's more noticeable when it comes to that, you know, yeah. Versus just sure. having a, a figure that you can just buy it by itself. That's a variant of some sort, you know, that you don't have to pick up if you don't want to. Yep. All right, Zach, this is up your alley here. Damien's asking, who do you think the power broker is? I'm sure you've watched a video from, uh, what is mm. Who's the guy you like to watch? Um, I'm blanking out. Uh, new rock stars, new rock stars. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I don't know if Power Broker is going to be his own character or if it's going to be maybe uh, Thunderbolt Ross. That That's my best guess right now. Um, so we can start off the Thunderbolts up. Yeah, I, I think that's my best guess. You know, I think he's probably trying to recreate the super soldier serum and make his own superheroes in some way that he can control. So that, that would be my best guess right now, but I'm not, I don't know. I'm not entirely sure. Okay, Nani says that that book is probably the activation book for uh, the Winter Soldier. Mm. Mm. Okay, maybe. Um, so this was the Eternals, and of course they have a build a figure in, as well. Mm. My most, one of my most disappointed build a figures that they could have done is just another another regular uh, figure. Mm-hmm. So it's a Gilgamesh build a figure. We still have never gotten any good images of these figures, except for a couple of them. Sides of the package with all the actors. I hope this movie's good. <laughs> I'm not having high hopes for it. Oh uh, yeah, I'm, I'm low expectations here. Yeah, but here is the Gilgamesh build a figure, so it's very disappointing itself. They had so many options mm. they could have done with the uh, deviants, Man. Man. and they went with Gilgamesh instead. Who's the director on this? I don't know. 
who who in the comments knows the director for this movie? And and what and, and if it's a name you're going to throw out, nobody knows who that person is. What has this director done? What kind of resume do they have? What, throw out a movie. Oh, is this the director? Yeah, Chloe Zhao. Okay, thirty nine years old from Beijing, China. Okay, what's her uh, what's her resume look like? Need some IMDb right there. So, yeah. You saw it? Yeah, well, if you go down, it's the first uh, right there. Return. Well, and, uh, and then click on, you should be able to go click on her, and then it'll take you to her IMDb page. Nah, da, 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 da. There it is right there. Click on her at the top. So, what uh, Jacob's saying, they should make a house lab for Celestials. I don't but, think it'll sell. I mean, there's so many of them. I don't. It's not possible. I mean, there's there's so many different celestials, and you know, if if you're gonna have them, you probably want all of them. So I just I don't see that making it to a Haslab, and I don't see it being popular enough to actually sell either. Go back one page, and then click on go up a little bit from where you yeah right there. What has she done? Chinese film director. Oh boy. Nothing. Oh, nothing. Boy. Wow. Uh, at least nothing American. Maybe those were big in China. I don't know. Oh my gosh. Wow. I mean, Marvel Studios has a habit of bringing in, you know, new people and stuff. So mm. I don't know. It's almost kind of like Marvel don't have super high expectations. <laughs> All right, so getting into the big main topic here, I'm Ooh. not going to let you. These look good. Uh, I'm not going to let you bring up figures that have already been made by Toy Biz or Hasbro. That is not what this uh, mm. is going to be about. But I will let you right now in the comments of all these builder figures that have been made by Toy Biz and Hasbro. Throw in the comments which of these particular ones right here would you want them to remake? And then once we do that, then I'll go into the list of the ones that I hope that they will make our most wanted list. Now, a lot of people in the comments have already been saying right now, Blob is their number one most wanted remade Toy Biz Hasbro build a figure. Where do y'all stand hmm. in this grouping right here? Yeah. Well, let me first say I want, I would say all of them, but <laughs> choosing one, uh, hmm. I'd say probably, probably Mojo. So Mojo remade. So once they decided that they were going to start doing deluxe figures as well, we kind of kind of got to take that into consideration. Say the uh, Modok deluxe figure, right? Yeah. And then the fact that we know we are never ever ever going to get another build a figure the size of Fin Fang Foom. Giant Man or Galactus, right? You kind of got to take those out of the equation, don't you? That's Haslab going forward. Right. Only chance is Haslab. Haslab. Yeah. Those will definitely be Haslab. Um, Blob is much needed, but I don't know if it'll be a build a figure or in a box set. Um, I could definitely see them doing a box set for the Brotherhood. Definitely. Right. Exactly. And that, that's sort of what my what I'm thinking right now. An uh, Annihilus. I'm thinking maybe a retro Fantastic Four. Maybe. Yeah. yeah. Larger, larger for that and, and for Terex. Um, I'm thinking Holocaust could definitely be a uh, build a figure if we're getting another AOA. AOA. Yep. Um, Ronin. I mean, I guess that could be probably retro Fantastic Four too. Or, I mean, or just a Galact sort of a build a figure. Ronin, Ronin to me just needs to be, he needs to be in a regular box. I agree totally. He, mm. he don't need to be a build a figure. And Ronan and Terex both are not the size. Yeah. Terex better than Terex more justifiable than Ronan in my yeah. opinion. <laughs> but but I agree. I think Terex could be he could be a he could be in a deluxe box. Exactly. Yeah. No, Terex doesn't even need deluxe. He could fit in a regular box. You think oh. so? Oh yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah, but you know they aren't gonna do that. No. Yeah. You know, if so, I, I'm I'm sort of having the I'm I'm thinking that we're gonna get a larger scale sort of Fantastic Four 
retro card as well and get a bunch of figures on that. The reason we're not getting a blob, if we just put it out there, I think we're not getting a blob because they can't reuse the parts. Who are they going to reuse blob parts for? Either. Yeah, he, he's he's ex- way too fat to be Volsteg. Right. Um, there's just there's no parts reuse, and Hasbro is not going to go out of their way to make us a figure that they can't reuse a hundred times. Mm. I mean, you know, I don't know. You say that, but I think they know that Blob is a popular enough character that they got to do it at some point. I mean, it do- it does, but when these companies are thinking about how to make money, they're thinking about how can we make money with these parts for the next eight years, you know, not how can we make a bunch of money one time right here in 2021 or 2022. All right. So a funny one Zach brought up to me whenever we were uh, about to start this stream was Bertha. Mm, big, yeah. big Bertha. You can just change out. I don't even know. It could probably be the same upper torso, but you can just change out the upper torso and change up the head, and you got Big Bertha. <laughs> yeah, but I would not care. Uh, also, yeah, micro, uh, about micro uh, from the New Warriors. I don't know. I've seen that's all I, I got. See a picture of micro. Yeah, but. I'll get to that in a little bit. I don't know. I mean, you say they're not going to do that, but I mean, they gave us Nimrod. Are they going to reuse that? No. I mean, mm, good point. Well, so, they have already done it. They've reissued it one time, right? No, have they? They have not. They hadn't reused. Okay, I thought Nimrod had two versions. Maybe mm. could could this body be used for Panda Pool? No, no, definitely not. Right. Yeah, you're right, Zach. Um, yeah, Nimrod, that'd be a tough one. I don't guess that could be reused really on anybody. No, so I, I would say they could definitely do it. It's just they're going to charge us a bit extra for it. And, and I agree. I'm not saying I don't think they'll do it. I'm just saying I don't think they're in a hurry to do it when it's somebody they can't continue to reuse over and over again. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, I, you know, I, they absolutely have got to do it. it. It'd be, it's probably my most wanted build, build a figure period out there because I need it for my brotherhood yeah. team up here. But Hey, X figure expert, who are you talking about that they've already used the parts for on Nimrod? Um. Yeah, Hasbro is never going to stop using parts, ever. That's that's right. how they save money on our waves, so they can do what they can with like the yeah. the uh, the pinless joints and the uh, face printing technology. Yeah. Right. You I would mean, be it, surprised how expensive it is to make new parts and actually have that you know go through the process and whatnot. Oh yeah, when they when they tool these figures, you're talking 120 grand. To, to tool a six inch action figure, you know, yeah. so they're, they're going to reuse the heck out of them. I mean, even, even your, your, your high end companies are reusing Mezco's and SH fig yards. I mean, Mezco has used the same buck probably 50 times underneath those soft, good clothing, you know, I mean, they're, they're not re-sculpting bodies every time they release, you know, a, a six inch man, mm-hmm. you know, so I'm going to say I did not ever hear Brood Queen in anybody's uh, speech there. So nobody wants Brood Queen again. Um, I'm thinking we definitely see a, pot, a potential for releasing on every single one of these smaller ones. I think our next HasLab will probably be Galactus. I agree. The legs. Uh, Actually, the your expert saying Mandra. Mandroid mm. figure. I don't think so. No, it's not the no, same. Nimrod, the Nimrod legs were pinless. Yeah. So. Now the uh, the Mandroid was the Cree Century. If I no, not Cree Century. The uh, uh, Crimson Dynamo, right? Um, I think I think there was some reuse in there, but I can't remember. I don't know. Not the uh, Cree Century, though, definitely not. All right, so... thought I saw a blob in your video, Zach. We own we own all these all of these Builder figures. Yeah, we own all these. So this is not my list. This is just what I'm kind of going to throw this out here because I know everybody's going to say blob, 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 blob. Mm-hmm. 
So I'm just getting <laughs> this out of the way before everybody keeps on saying blob. <laughs> yeah. I was thinking about uh, Mojo though. And I don't I don't think that I would want him as a build of theory necessarily. Cause I've been talking with you before and and uh how I'd like it in like a three pack with a long shot and spiral or something. God, that would be so good. Mm-hmm. Was the original Mojo build a figure? I feel like it was pretty good. It's it's oh, perfect. Yeah. Just like yeah. the Modoc was perfect. I didn't yeah. I didn't need a new Modoc, but the mm-hmm. problem is the price on these were so high. People can't in the aftermarket. Get them. Right. Nobody can get them anymore. Yeah. So yeah. with with it being so long since they did them, and with it being Toy Biz that did it, Hasbro's got to get their get their uh, get other people opportunities to get it since they can't get it. Yeah. So, yep, I'm going to go with Blob. I figured that was going to be the answer. Um, and I, I feel like everybody feels like that they would like to see the Galactus as the next HasLab. HasLab, yeah. I actually got April fooled by Toy News International. No, you didn't. On April. I did, man. I did. Until I read the whole thing, I was. Oh gosh. Oh, I, I swear you owned that, uh, that Marvel Universe Galactus, didn't you? I did. I and did. you couldn't tell that was it? I couldn't tell. It's been it's been ten years probably since I owned that thing. Oh my know. gosh! It's been a so long time. Down in the bottom corner, tiny print. It said April Fools. Did oh, you notice man. that in the picture? I did not. So in the he picture, it said that he got us on that. He got us on the Star Wars, and he got us on the um, what was the other one, Zach? I don't know. Uh, GI oh, Joe. He did I the Cobra Fist tank on GI Joe. I was even showing the wife. I was like, hey, get ready. There's going to be another $400 coming out of the account here soon. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? There will be one, I think, this year. I think they're going to do another announcement this year. I don't think so. I don't think for Marvel Legends. I agree. I don't think it'll be. I think it'll be. You know, uh, are we going back to Transformers again? Transformers or G.I. Joe. G.I. Joe needs something, man. They need, they need I it. They need it. That would show us that they're committed to the brand. You know, if if they did a HasLab GI Joe mm-hmm. of some Stop. some sort, something right. But I don't want to throw oh, if we'll see that yet. Like I don't know if GI Joe's big enough yet for them to have that type of confidence. Uh, yeah, I don't know. So I'm with you. I'm well, with that you. Power yeah. Rangers and uh, Ghostbusters are the three other three brands that they that they have not done a HasLab for. So a Megazord, you know, to oh go gosh, with the totally. MMPR, you know, give us a 2022 inch uh, Megazord, man. Mm-hmm. That'd be nice because the best one out there is this. This one I got over here is Bandai. It's about 13 inches tall, maybe 14 inches tall. Mm-hmm. So it's way too small. Yeah, uh, Jerry JC with Toy News International did that mm-hmm. uh, April 1st. Um, for Jacob, Jacob saying, Do we think Galactus will be 500 or 1,000? I'm thinking he'll be somewhere in the range of the Sentinel. I hope so. My- I hope they stick with that price range. Yeah, but because here's the problem: there's not really any bucks. add-ins that they can do for him. You know, is there? Can they give us an alternate, like unmasked head, maybe, or even like a uh, how about a zombie head? Yeah, I would like to see some of his um, I don't know, heralds, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And uh, give us because some of those characters would be very obscure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We'll probably never see them mm-hmm. unless yeah. it's something. So I, I would think that would be cool. Mm-hmm. So, like, I, if they do a Haslab his tank, which is what JC teases with, I'm hoping that would be more around a two hundred dollar range. I would think vehicle. so. I would think so. And then with Jacob, with your Marshmallow Man, one hundred percent Stay Puft Marshmallow Man needs to be made as Haslab for the Ghostbusters Plasma series. Yep. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> if they do that, I'll have to go and buy the Plasma series figures. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, I would have to. I don't know because I don't. I just don't feel like the plasma stuff did good. You know, it, it did. It couldn't have. I mean, I mean, it's still sitting on pegs. Yeah, out there every, everywhere. They overstocked it, and I don't know. It's just and then and then they give us an Ecto one that that's didn't too fit. small. Yeah, it's not even scaled. Yeah. they call it plasma, and it's not even scaled with the figures. I, I don't it's get like, it. Like, what are you doing? Noni says Haslab. Galactus a thousand dollars all said and done. I I just can't see that. So we're talking about one that's actually like six feet tall then. Uh now that yeah, I mean, yeah, it's not gonna be a 23 inch at a thousand bucks, I don't think. God, no. guys, look at this. We're talking okay, X figure expert wants that one instead of the um 
stay puff. And Good. then Jerry wants the fire station as their uh, has lab. Now, yeah. if you talk fire station as like a diorama, you're you're definitely talking in the thousands. Yeah, you're talking a thousand bucks if you do that. Yeah. Then again, what I'm saying, all I'm saying is, you know, I think Hasbro need to know they have enough confidence in in the line to actually do something like that. And I, I don't I don't see the Ghostbusters uh, or GI Joe really any. Of the, I don't think either one of those have the confidence yet to do something. Power Rangers might. I think right. Power Rangers is doing good enough. They would might have that type of confidence, but I don't think GI Joe or or um, Ghostbusters. Well, and and they may just to be real safe, they may go back to Star Wars again or go yeah. back to Marvel Legends. Probably Transformers would probably be, probably 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 be probably next. Yeah, because I think I think Unicron is shipping now. I he's think already people, delivering. Yep, he's yep. he's delivering and yep. delivered. Yeah, so it, it would be around the time now to to start charging the Transformers fans. You know, another five hundred bucks or whatever. So, mm -hmm. I agree. That that would be their bread and butter if they wanted to. You know, they don't want to do something and they get 4,000 backers. You know, they want to get 15,000 backers or 25,000 backers. And I, I'm with Zach. I think a G.I. Joe would get them six, 8,000 backers probably. Yeah. So. I would actually be surprised if that wasn't probably their biggest one, actually. G.I. Joe? Yes. Really? It, it depends on the not, price You're not point. seeing them on the shelves, man. They've got to be selling, right? Well, yeah, but 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 I I think we're not seeing them on the shelves because I think they did low runs mm -hmm. because they knew, mm -hmm. you know. I think that that you know every store is getting one case, not like Marvel Legend where they get five cases. Yeah, you know. So I, I, I mean, sit here and look at that my Joes every day, and I'm like, yes, this is this is what I want. This is yeah. perfect. This is what I've always wanted is a six inch Joe instead of the three and three quarter. Yeah, I mean Baroness, I think they did one per city. Mm. You know, like uh, that's just terrible. And that's Target exclusive, so that screwed us all over. It did. So now you got a hundred fifty dollar motorcycle if you want it. Oh, you imagine? Yeah, his tank will be perfect because that's totally army building, just like the Sentinel was. Now yeah. I, I'm I'm with you, Daniel. As far as if they did the his tank and they could get it at a price point at one hundred fifty to two hundred bucks, it probably could be profitable for them because mm -hmm. I think a lot of probably every Joe fan is going to go in on that. But if they put out a four hundred seventy-five dollar, you know, GI Joe Haslab, I just don't see it happening. Hey guys, can you imagine an aircraft carrier? That aircraft carrier was literally the largest toy ever made in the three and three quarter scale. Ever made? I don't know of any other toy that's the size of the aircraft carrier. And you've seen it several times in, in a bunch of store, uh, toy hunts. And I think I have. due to I your have. toy hunt, that that the the guys have actually gone in and bought bought those from those uh, stores. Yeah, because they're gone. They're yeah. they're gone from those stores. And uh, I mean, the only place you can put it is under a bed. That's yeah. the only place. That's that's where kids stored it when they when they come out originally. Is you'd slide mm -hmm. it under your bed and you'd slide it back out when you wanted to play with it. Yeah, n nobody has put has somewhere to put that. No, it's mm -hmm. not practical. Mm -mm. The barge, the barge was pushing it. The Haslab barge was pushing it from a size standpoint, and that was three and three quarter. It was right, exactly. <laughs> Noni ha says, "Could we get a proper Death Star? Could you imagine how big that would be?" Man, I don't know how they could do that. You know, the Death Star that we got. You know, that's the only way they can give it to us. Just little pieces of it. You know, you got a you got a blaster on it. You got some some levels. How can you do a true Death Star as a as a uh, as a uh, playset? You know, I don't know, Jacob. I don't I don't think that we'll get another giant apocalypse. I think they're done with apocalypse for now. I agree. I think the build a figure we got is what we're getting. And I mean, we got the AOA version too. Mm -hmm. So. All right, so jumping in, we said Blob is definitely on that list. I'm also going to throw these two in as honorables since they were Marvel Universe, and most of us probably put them in our Legends collection and just got rid of the little Marvel Universe figures that came in there. We got our Black Goliath and our uh, Frost Giant. So those are definitely on our shelves, uh, on our either our Thor shelf or our Ant-Man, Giant-Man shelf. How tall so are those? I'd, like 12 inches maybe? Or how big are yeah. they? Yeah, they're 12. 12. So they're great scale, but like I said, as soon as we get that Sentinel, it's going to just God, dwarf all these guys that we already have in our collection as our as our big guys. So, but then again, Frost Giants can be all kinds of sizes. 
and our giant man, uh, Goliath type figures can grow to any scale as well. So really any of these things like Sentinels, you know, giant man, uh, Goliath, frost giants, uh, Galactus, really any of that can be almost any scale. Apocalypse, uh, trying to think what else, you know, there's, those really, there's not a set size to any of those. Yeah. So that's true. All right. So now we're getting into it. Here we go. We already talked about weapon H, mm. uh, in the chat. Weapon H is, did I have him? I think I had him on my thumbnail. He is definitely one that I cannot believe they haven't reused the Hulk sculpt that we have to make this guy for ship. I don't know. I mean, when you mix Wolverine with the Hulk, I mean, all you got is amazing, right? Completely. I'm all in on this one. Yeah. Yeah. And you know he he was he's been very he was very relevant there for a little while too and you know they try to kind of put out figures based on the when they're relevant and it's kind of, almost like they kind of missed him a little bit you know they missed his hype because they were scared they were scared because he was hyped before these new molds came out for the hawks that we got yeah you know and now that we got the hawks i mean how many times have we use the mold now one two Three, just three? No, four, five. It's going to be five when Maestro comes out, right? Yeah. We got two Green Hulks, a Gray Hulk, Red Hulk, and then Maestro. Okay. So maybe Marvel Select will just do it in a Marvel Select box. We'll and you know, that's the thing. It. I feel like he is a bigger scale than the regular Hulk anyway. Mm -hmm. He is. Mm. So you imagine if they use that new Marvel Select Hulk body. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Something like that for that size and giving these claws mm -hmm. and those. Oh Just gosh. a new head sculpt. Just give us a little different head sculpt there. Ooh, yeah. So should we go through all these and discuss the likelihood of seeing this? Or Yeah, yeah. I think we definitely need to put a, uh, in the chat, guys, if y'all would, put a yes if they if you think has, uh, bro will make it or no chance if you don't think they will. Hey, backtracking just briefly and then we get back to this, but – uh, Noni brought up a good point. HasLab doing an X Men Blackbird mm -hmm. again. So that's, we're talking huge. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I think that you know they've had that discussion before, and I think the Hasbro team was like, "How how is that you know really practical to make sense?" You know. Yeah. Well, I mean, and I think I think what a lot of people forget is like the barge. We're like, oh, well, the barge was big, but it works. That's three and three quarter. Right. We're talking six inch scale here. Exactly. So that Blackbird would literally be like the size of your bed. You know, I mean, it's it'd be like the size of a twin size bed, you know, so it's whew, I don't know. In that case, it would be a thousand twelve hundred dollar. Oh, yeah. You know, backing. But anyways, and, back to what you're saying. I just thought that was an interesting. And, and the crazy thing is, is that if we start getting things of that scale in our in our man caves, we will all be single. I think that's a fact. I, I don't see uh, our wives uh, staying around if we buy stuff like that all the time. True. We'd have to have Zach buy it. <laughs> <laughs> have, have a new house, too. <laughs> yeah, my uh, man cave is not big enough for a blackbird <laughs> and a, uh, no. and a uh, no. aircraft carrier. No, I just have to sit in the middle of the living room and we just walk around it. Yeah. You know, throughout the day, we just. Peace. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Matt Matt W says he never understood Weapon H. Adding claws to him doesn't really do much. Getting punched by a Hulk would be painful enough. Yeah. Really. Can't That's really. True, it's yeah. still wearing the Hulk. You know, it's just awesome. Yeah. So yeah, you take two of the coolest characters in the whole MCU, the right. whole Marvel universe. So, right, so this is this is a a definite for me, but I can see where guys would kind of be like, I, I don't I don't get it. For me, this is a definite once, but for me, it's very unlikely that we'll see this. So unless they start making a bunch, of, I don't think Hasbro. I mean, Hasbro is starting just now, starting to dive into Hulk stuff a little bit. Yes, you know. Uh, so it, I don't see this happening really anytime soon, or maybe not at all. I don't know. So time will tell, but I'm going to say for now, not going to happen. Weapon H is not a villain. No. 
Uh, he was confused whenever he was first made, and he was kind of yeah. going on a rampage, but he is not a villain. He's a, he's a good guy. And he takes the powers. You see it over there on the right. He took the powers from Domino, Wolverine, Warpath, Lady Deathstrike, and Sabretooth to make him. And I guess Hulk, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was a good story. It was actually a pretty good kind. I read it for the longest time. I, I think I quit reading it before it was over, but but I liked it. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I definitely could see them because of the but the mold just reusing it again, giving him to this the same scale as the other Hulks and just throwing claws and those little spikes on his back. But that's yeah. the problem. And it's just, we're not having an accurate Hulk, you know, we're not, we're not having an ap accurate weapon H, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. But that sounds like something Hasbro could do is, is cheap out like that. Hey, just, Hey, just real quick, uh, by the way, we don't really ever say this in our live chat, but, uh, all, all you guys in our live chat, if you would, go hit that like button on this live chat. That kind of helps with the YouTube algorithm, getting this thing out there where people can uh, can see it, promoting it, putting in a recommended list, you know, for people. That's so a good I, point. I noticed we only got five. We got 43 people in. So hello to all 43 people that's in the live chat. We appreciate you coming out and supporting us. But uh, hit that hit that like button and uh, help and us And also go ahead and actually do a – I, I know you're commenting in the uh, – <laughs> in the stream itself, but put a comment on the, on the video itself too, if you could, cause that gets it out there as well. Yeah. So, I mean, wh while you were reading the stories, did you see anybody beat him? Uh, no, no, nobody, nobody beat him that I can remember. I think the guy that created him, I want to say he like uh, ripped his head off, cut his head off. And then that guy went and created like a, android type body and then i think he destroyed that one as well so yeah he was he was a very like crazy brutal i mean you imagine like hulk with the berserker rage you know like it's it's a very bad combo dave jones says hello fellow north Carolinians. hello dave jones hey um you know we're talking gi joe and 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 we already talked about the fact that like with the the ghostbusters um the real ghostbuster stuff mm -hmm. how they're going back and redoing the the same stuff again. Mm -hmm. Well, it's like with the uh, the GI Joe three and three quarters. How we're getting, we already got the his tank. We got the uh, striker, striker, and the copter thing. Will they jump in and do these bigger scale? Is it is it popular enough to go ahead and do these bigger scale terror drones? And no, um, we're not there. Nah, I'm not even sure that the retro line is doing that well. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't. You, they didn't really stock those in big big numbers and it really took a while for some of them to come off the shelf i mean snake eyes i've seen him for months on pegs you know mm -hmm. so I, I don't know that the three and three quarter the three and three quarter the rollout has been so slow that's why i got depressed with it you know i yeah. thought they were going to be rolling out kind of like marvel legends or the you know uh, power rangers i thought it was, i didn't know it was going to be like uh, you know, three figures like every 12 months. Yeah. You know, I didn't know that's how it was going to be. So I think that's, that's kind of hard for a collector to stick with. Hey, Jacob, we'll get to that topic here in a minute. All right. Next we have man, Ape, which we have seen a man, Ape MCU, but this is the man, Ape that I wanted to see as the build a figure, the comic accurate man, Ape. Yeah, that's cool there. So is this a must? Cause my little Black Panther ship is pitiful. He needs some villains. Yeah. I, so, I would say that's a must. You I know? agree. Is there any problem with them getting this? And I hate to say it like that, but like. Mm, I, I think y'all know where I'm going with that. Yeah. I, I could see that being a problem. For sure. What do you think, Man Cave? I don't know. I Maybe. Uh, it's hard to say. It's hard to say. I don't know. But I don't feel like it'd be that hard for them to do. I mean, they could probably reuse the Sasquatch body. And that's what right. Jerry just said. Wendigo could could easily be used to yes. make this. Yeah. Yeah. So, I don't know. But, but Noni says definitely a problem. Yeah. Yeah. But, and I haven't read any Black Panther books lately. Is Is this character still in the books looking like this? So I don't know, guys, in the comments, if y'all know, is 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 this particular iteration of Man Ape still in the comic books? 
<laughs> but this is a must for me. I, I definitely want to see a man ape. Yeah. I mean, that is a really cool design it's of a character. Good. You know, that's that's super cool. All right, jumping into my next one, I got the Clint Barton Goliath figure. So this kind of throws us back to what we were talking about earlier with the giant man scale type stuff. And Clint Barton being giant man, he doesn't have to necessarily be huge. So, you know, you can give us the 12 inch just fine, in my opinion, in, in the boxes that we're getting right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I would say, so I don't know the likelihood of this one necessarily. Cause I don't, if, if they did this, they would probably give it on that Marvel universe body. Mm -hmm. And I don't like that. No. Okay. Uh, because of the giant sort of, you know, uh, ball joints they got going on. I think they could uh, uh, upgrade that. I don't know, mm -hmm. maybe. But either way, I would say from the three that we've talked about so far, this is the one that I probably wouldn't care all that much for. Okay. Um, I mean, I'd still take it, but it's it's not something I don't, I don't think I necessarily have to have it. Uh, I'm I'm with Zach on that. Out of the out of the ones we spoke on, this would be my last place. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, we did get a Goliath figure, um, with those Marvel universes, but I want this one with the, the blonde hair out of it, the chest showing, and all that stuff. I'd, I'd love to right. see this form right here. Yeah. Oh, he uh, Andre doesn't like that outfit. I like that outfit. Huh. I like I like the class of stuff. Yeah. I mean, I don't mind it, but I would say out of well, I would say so. Going back to to Man Ape. I would say he's the most likely to be made from a buck standpoint uh, standpoint of them being able to reuse that, mm -hmm. but probably the least likely to be made out of three because of, you know, the other reasons and whatnot. Yeah. Um, so I, but I don't know the likelihood of this one being made either. Are we talking because of scale or because of look? I would say probably popularity. Popularity, yeah. As well as them having to do some new parts to actually make this happen. So – yeah. All right. So then you go into Atlas for the um, – what's that team, Zach? Uh, this is this is the uh, Thunderbolts. Thunderbolts. Mm -hmm. Atlas for the Thunderbolts. So same type body. So, therefore, you could act, we, we go back to talking about Blob and the fact they couldn't reuse something. Here's the ability to reuse something if they wanted to. I like this one. Mm -hmm. This is I, solid. I can say this is, this is definitely going to happen. Because mm -hmm. I know that Hasbro – is trying to go more and more towards actually getting our Thunderbolts team for us. Completed, yep. But so, will they give it to us in like a eight inch figure, a you know seven eight inch figure, or will it be a giant size figure? I mean, giant size ish, I would say. Not. I mean, I, think, I, I hate I'm to say like this. The size these, of Juggernaut, the Hulk. No, bigger than that. See I these torsos, know. these torsos and legs, they can fit in these packages. I mean, they've already proved that with. The uh, the Sugar Man when they stuck that in the package with Gene, you know, the, the build a figure piece can be bigger than the figure. That's not a problem. I think the only way we see that is if they decide they're going to do mini figures using parts from this figure down the line. Which yeah. they could. so they could, they absolutely could. They could give us other giant men and and then this know. would be a likelihood of us seeing something like Goliath or. Mm -hmm. I agree. Like that that but could happen. I say, I think Hasbro definitely has this in their mind that this is something they want to make eventually. I just don't see this happening anytime soon. Um, well, they, they like to complete their teams and they've got a lot of them already. Right. But they, I feel like they usually slowly complete those teams because mm. uh, all they we have do. so far is what is this be uh, songbird and um, Mach one. Moonstone. Yeah. But it's not, is, is that really the version of Moonstone? Mm, not really, I guess. So, you know, unless, I can see this more likely as a box set, maybe. Was Red Hulk with them during this time? Not during this time, no. It, no. Thunderbolt wasn't? Okay. So I, I, I would say maybe they'll give us a box set to complete our Thunderbolts. If they Maybe if they move on into smaller Haslabs and maybe give us box sets and stuff like that. So I didn't see the Avengers Assemble show or the Earth's Mightiest. What was it called? Earth's Mightiest Heroes show, either one of those cartoons. I never caught up with either of those. I guess those are all on Disney Plus right now, so I, I need to. But uh, yeah, I didn't really watch much of that. I've, I've seen a few episodes, but not much. Yeah. So I'm 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 gonna go out and say with him. These are my final thoughts. I still think we're gonna get an eight inch version. 
<laughs> uh, that's not the popular answer, but I I still think that's what Hasbro is going to do. Maybe Noni says he thinks six. Yeah, seriously. I, I don't know about six because uh, even even like in his normal size, he's still bigger than most of the people on the team. Like he's still mm -hmm. a big guy, you know. He's still like a foot taller than everybody else. But I'm just I'm thinking he could still end up being a build a figure, but. I'm thinking he, we're going to see him in a normal, you know, eight inch scale, eight inch, si eight, you know, size or whatever. But then again, you know, if you, if you go the twelve inch route, then like I was saying, you know, giving us Goliath, giving us uh, Black Goliath, giving us um, who else could they do? Giant Man, Giant Man so, himself. So in saying uh, that, what's the last twelve inch figure we got in Marvel Legends? Did we ever? I, don't, I mean, what Fin Tang Foom? Fin Fang Foom was the biggest Hasbro Marvel Legend ever. So other than that, uh, they were doing the Marvel Universe stuff, which, like I said, fit in scale-wise perfectly with our Marvel Legends. So they're sitting on my shelf as my giants. Yeah. Uh, so technically, yes, the Ant-Man box set mm. from SDCC. Which were which you? Was, body. Which was when? Oh, gosh. Whatever time we went to the beach that time. Remember that? that? Whenever we year. met you and James down there? Oh, yeah. <laughs> what year I was that? The same year as the... Um, I don't know, long. That was, was the same year as the Vashanti, yep. Yeah. Like, so like 2013, was. maybe? I have no I idea. Somewhere in there. I, I guess where I'm going with that is, is Hasbro just doesn't seem... To, I, I, I think that anything over what they can fit in like a normal box, I think is going HasLab. I just don't see them doing 12 inch build of figures or 12 inch on card figures. I just, I think anything over, you know, that eight inch, you know, juggernaut, the Hulk, you know, those size guys, I think is going to be, that's either not going to be done or it's going to be HasLab mm -hmm. or they're going to give us a, uh, that's just you know, my opinion. I, I hope Zach's right. My, my hope is what Zach's saying, but my you know, gut it, tells me otherwise. It's very funny that when you see these guys at the conventions back in the day, when we were still doing conventions asking, the Marvel guys, these questions, they never asked this question. Why are we not getting the big build figures anymore? They don't. Yeah. Yeah. But if anything with this one, I would say, honestly, knowing Hasbro, they might, if they're going to give it to us, they'll probably re-release that Marvel universe body. Mm. And unfortunately I don't like that, but I think that's probably the best option to get this. Unfortunately. I just think, like 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 Man Cave said, it's there's so many potential because nobody's gotten a true Giant Man figure since yeah, Toy Biz days, and that was a very rare Walmart exclusive. So, and it actually took the most people. Am I thinking about right that? Yep, that took the most people to to purchase in order to build that whole figure. Yeah, and you actually mm -hmm. even had to buy the variant figures in order to build them. So how many? So how many was that? How many Carter figures did you have to have? It wasn't that like twelve. Good night. My word. I'm thinking, right? Was I'm thinking it was twelve figures? Yeah. Yeah. Man, I just want to pit build a figure back really, re release. That's all I want. <laughs> that will never happen. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to go spend three hundred fifty dollars on on the one that's out there, ain't I? And yeah. the fact that I own four of them. Did you really? Yep. Good we God. bought them. We bought them. We was down in Florida and we bought, we already had one sitting at home and we saw three whole uh, waves of them in a Walmart. Marked down wow. to $5 each. Good night, man. So Ooh. in order to, in order to, you know, build up our collection, I was able to sell those for a great price on eBay as the build man. of the year. All right, so here's a big one. We got the mindless one. So we've talked talks of the fact that we got Doctor Strange uh, two. That this mm. could maybe be the build a figure for Doctor Strange two. I hope not. No, no, because how the heck are you supposed to armor build that if it's a build a figure? Oh man, that's true. But maybe they'll do the build a figure and then they'll come out with the uh, the Hasbro Pulse. Uh, I don't know. Army builder stuff. I don't know if this is a popular enough character to have by himself or release where you can easily armor build him. Uh, so I think it's more likely, you know, with build of figures, they can do more obscure characters if it's a solid wave. Uh, so 
I just I don't know because I want to I would want to army build that and that'd be so hard to track down the build figures. I mean all mm. the uh, figures to, to you know do that. Yeah. Unless they made an entire army builder wave so that What's you that buy. Thought? Yeah, they thought about doing that. They have talked about that. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. But this is a must have for me as well. And I, I don't know the likelihood of it. I mean it's just I don't know necessarily the reuse they could do from it. Unless I don't know. Alan Alan Lowe says here, you know, that's what I need. That's what I'm saying. I need to army build. How many guys in our comments actually army build? You know, because there's a lot of guys that just refuse to do it. I don't typically do it. I've done it one time in my entire collecting career. So I'd be interested over in the comments. Let us know how many of you guys actually army build stuff when there's an opportunity. Well, you do have one that you want to already build, but you haven't been able to afford it yet. Uh, the multiple man. Yep. Yeah. I need, I need two more multiple men. Um, I just have such a hard time dropping 60 bucks a figure on him. You know, I just, I feel like Hasbro Pulse is going to have to throw that one out there. Uh, I would sure hope so. And if they do, please give us multiple heads like they did in the original. Cause that's what's frustrating me about the uh, the Pulse Army Builder stuff is that is that they're not giving us the extra stuff in that little cheap box, you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, Alan uh, Laka, Alan, wh what are you Army Build? What what's your most Army Built figure? Like, what do you have? Twenty of something or Laka? You do Imperial Stormtroopers. How many do you have? Like, what what is what makes you a true Army Builder? You, do you have to have ten, or are you Army Builder if you have three multiple men? Like that's uh, we may have even had this conversation slightly before, but I'm just interested kind of what guys in the comments have to say about it. So X figure expert said it was only ten figures for the giant man, not not twelve. <laughs> yeah, Lock Lock says, you have thirty six of the <laughs> same stormtrooper. Holy smokes! Jeez, like I could see that if I didn't collect anything else, I just bought just that one figure over and over. Like, um, wow, what's that guy that likes the uh, Boba Fett so much? Oh, that's a toy. That's a, uh, what's his name? Dan. Dan. Uh, come on. He's the toy galaxy. Toy galaxy. Yes. Yeah. He's yeah. got Dan, just tons Dan and Larson. tons. Dan, Dan Larson. Larson. He's got tons and tons of, of just the uh, Boba Fett stuff. So Dave Jones has 12 of the Hydra, AIM, four Multiman, six Hellfire, five Hand Ninjas. So, so he's he's got – kind of what I would assume would be, uh, you know, uh, Alan's got 20 aim goons. He's usually happy at 10. So that that's kind of my thing. Lockett just took it to a whole nother level yeah. with 36. <laughs> Golly. That's, a, that, that's almost a diagnosable problem when you <laughs> buy 36 of the same thing. <laughs> so we Alan are, is saying he's buying a new aim agent every single, every two weeks. Wow. I buy 36 door. Black Series Stormtroopers, two different versions. So 18 each. Wow. Sheesh. Couldn't be me. That's great. That's all. I mean, hey, that's uh, that's awesome. Good for you. But I, I mean, yeah, I, I don't even know how you find that many. Like I toy hunt and I couldn't find that many if I have my life depended on. It. I guess you, you could go out online, you know, and purchase them that way. But, um, yeah, Alan says he has issues. We we all do in this collecting world. That is true, one hundred percent. We we've all got this is this is our our addiction. So yeah. All right, so we got the awesome android, and somebody mentioned earlier that we need along with him the uh, Mad Thinker, mm -hmm. and I totally agree with that. I would love to see a Mad Thinker and this awesome android. Right. Is so. this going to happen? Hmm. God. Will this happen before the mindless ones? No. I don't think so. I'm thinking mindless ones are more likely because of Doctor Strange. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I would, I, this is one, I would, this is probably actually something I want to see more than the mindless ones. Um, I agree. I just don't know. I mean, like, it's a pretty generic body. For a so bigger obscure. Body. Such an obscure character. But 
I just don't know exactly what they would reuse from it. You know, it's it's hard though. I just don't know how they would release it. You know, what they would exactly what they would do. Heck, you could almost use Hulk body, right? How big is this thing? How big is this thing in the comic books? Mm -hmm. Hulk size, like Hulk, like Hulk size, maybe. I'm thinking you could almost reuse a Hulk body, some new feet, new hands, because he's only got five. He's only got four fingers total, right? And a different head sculpt. Uh, you know, they they probably could make this out of parts they already have. I would think outside of the head sculpt. Mm. I don't know. I, I thought this would be bigger than that, right? There's your shot of him with Cap. Uh, uh, he's pretty big. But, I mean, that's Hulk Hulk doubts about like that. We got some more comments rolling in over here. August says he's got 10 Ahsoka clones and 24 Mandalorian Super Commandos. So that's pretty strong. Uh, Jay Zeus, Army Build Stormtroopers, up to 30 now. Mighty Morphin Power Ranger Putties are a pretty cool Army Build. As yeah, well. I can see that. Yeah, that's a strong Army Build. Um and then Alan says he lo loves song, the father loves song. I don't know if he meant love song, but the father and son collecting. He, uh, start he started when his son turned two. So that's cool. Guys. Start him off early. What? Action figure expert has over 3,000 clone troopers. Hmm. Man, action figure expert, do you have an Instagram page that we can go and view the, the gloriousness that that would be? Jeez Louise. Gosh, I thought I had a lot of figures at, at 750, but man, I, I was going to say, I don't have, I, I haven't had 3000 figures in my collection combined in all the years I've been collecting. When I did my math the other day, I had about 2000 of what I've, I've owned. Yeah. Yeah. I would guess I'm probably somewhere in there. Hmm. So yeah, I, I'm definitely a yes on this one. Oh yeah, completely. Yeah. So here's a big one. I and mean, of course, you, you, you've yeah. heard us definitely say, and that's the one we have on the left there of the Dragon Man from the Fantastic Four Classics. Yeah. But that is such a rare figure to find. And it's yeah. probably the most expensive figure uh, under the new Haslab Sentinel now. I think it's been KO'd too, hasn't it? It has. So you got to be got to be careful if you're buying this guy. Hey, Leende61. No, we haven't ever talked about any of the five inch ones. Three thousand. I mean, that's I'm still just crazy. I mean, golly. I'm blown away. So yeah, I'm thinking this, like you said, Zach, will be probably on a retro vintage card. Yeah, retro card for the Fantastic Four stuff. I think this is very likely. And I think this is probably gonna be something that comes within the next year or two. So here's the question, all right? You see this evil one. Do they go evil or do they go friendly with the FF team? The fact that we've never seen any of the FF and we'll probably never will, I think they're probably going to go with the evil look. So they could, could they do the evil look and just do glasses too? Or would that not be? Give multiple heads in the box would be awesome. Give you options. Well, I mean, would, it, would it be still fine if you had like the open, open and closed mouth? Or like, would that be dip, like, you know, good enough to, to give them sort of an angry look or a, more calm look. Well, you know, if they were smart, they could try to figure out a way like uh, NECA has to, you know, pop certain parts of the head off and give different facial expressions. Yeah, that's not just doing articulated mouth like they did with, uh, Toka. with the original. The original yeah. was articulated too. So, like NECA well, did with Toka. I yeah. definitely think we'll probably see an articulated mouth if they're smart. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this is definitely very, this is very likely to happen. And Jacob, you're right. They did a tease. That's something we're going to get a figure this year with a tail. Uh, this mm -hmm. is definitely on my list of what we may see, mm -hmm. along with Lizard and uh, Tigra and one we'll get to later here, Lockjaw, hopefully. Lizard definitely needs to be re-released on a retro card. Mm -hmm. Kind of yeah. like uh, same size card is kind of like what we got with uh, Kingpin. Kingpin. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And this is sort of what I'm thinking with Dragon Man 2 is – is sort of that size, but in more of the Fantastic Four look was more of the round bubble type of, you know, look. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, yes, Action Figure Expert does have an Instagram page. Uh, Action Figure Expert, do you have a picture? I don't even know how you fit 3,000 figures in a picture. Uh, yeah, I don't even know if that's possible. I'm just sitting here thinking, like, 
let's say he paid twenty dollars a piece for these figures. <laughs> so we're talking sixty thousand uh, dollars worth of worth of clone troopers. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh man, the action figure expert, you just you just blew my mind tonight, no mm. doubt. Wow. Uh, and Army Builder April for him on his page right now. So oh, you, wow. okay. action figure if you're not following me on Instagram, action figure, go find me and Zach Jack Dan and uh follow us if you're not already, and then I'll follow you back because I'd like to see that. He's got the <laughs> widest angle lens out there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Alan, they're so – because they were so mad about the Fox X-Men uh, the Fox X -Men and Fantastic Four and they just mm -hmm. completely stopped making Fantastic Four stuff back in the day, we're so behind on our Fantastic Four stuff, villains especially. We still need a true classic Fantastic Four wave. Mm -hmm. You know, we don't. I mean, you got the Walgreens stuff, but that's not the classic look. It, it, it's close. It's it's an older classic look, but it's not the classic look. Mm -hmm. You know, like we need the classic look. Um, and, and I could actually see that almost coming in like a box set. You know, kind of yeah. like they did with the classic oh. X-Men. Oh, my gosh. I don't know if y'all remember back in the Toy Biz days, but I mean, there was these huge box sets like crazy of the Fantastic Four. They did They did three different box sets of the Fantastic Four. Uh, several of the X-Men. Spider-Man had several. So I don't know why they can't do these these large box sets on, on the main uh, Target Walmart floors for this stuff. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I think once you get far enough with giving us Fantastic Four costumes, you know, in, in regular waves and whatnot, you really have to go to box sets and stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, because otherwise it just gets too repetitive. Yeah. I mean, that, that Fantastic Four shelf is literally the only shelf that I have any kind of customs on because I was... I was just so lacking with what I wanted. So, I, you know, I did a white FF team. I did the, uh, the Ant-Man Medusa and Miss Thing uh, and She-Hulk team whenever they took over for them. I did the red versions of the Fantastic Four. And then I also did the wizard, like you say in there, Dave Jones. Uh, so that was cool. Fright for four definitely needed. Well, and, and they can do the repaint so easy. On the Fantastic oh, gosh. Four, the, the, the most recent Walgreens that we got – the sculpts are good. I'm actually happy with those sculpts. The face sculpts are good. Um, all they need to do is just, a, it's basically a repaint mm -hmm. you know, to give us the classic look. So speaking of is, is what, yeah, that's what I'm thinking, you know, repaint the Walgreens ones and just do a, uh, the white and what's white and blue color, white and blue. Yeah. So I think that's probably what we're going to get for the retro card figures. Mm-hmm. Oh, that would be cool. They could do it on retro car. Good point. That's what, that's what I'm assuming because there's a rumored retro Fantasy Four wave to come out this year. Okay, uh, okay. that's what I'm assuming is four of those would be the four main Fantastic Four. Yeah. Cool. Hey, Damien, I definitely want to see a puppet master with all the different puppets of the Fantastic Four and some strings mm -hmm. and stuff. That'd be awesome. That yeah. would be and, cool. And August, we're going to get down to uh, the Deadpool Two movie uh, figures as well. I don't have a lot in here for build a fig. Most want to build build a figures for. Uh, movie stuff, but I do have it for the uh, Deadpool 2 stuff. Mm. The Dragon Man is definitely wanted for everybody. Yeah, I think that's a good one. Uh, so, Uatu the Watcher, uh, I have him in the Marvel Select. He's fit our shelf great, but I definitely think that he needs to be made. He's already been in the MCU now. Uh, was that... That was Thor, right? Thor 3. Uh, no, that was that was Guardians. Guardians 2? Guardians. Guardians, yeah. Guardians 2. I think it was too, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, and he looked perfect. He looked like he could go either MCU or comic accurate with the way he looked in the movie. So, yeah. So I'm, I'm shocked that we out. haven't seen this yet. I'm calling out this is happening this year as he built a figure in the second Disney Plus wave. Mm. Wow. Mm. So, that getting bold. Mm, when you say the second Disney Plus wave, you mean the what if one? Mm hmm. Okay. So yeah, I could see that. Yeah. Uh, so how big is he going to be? He's going to be nine inches tall. Yeah. But It'll you be, know, it makes sense because he's really going to be over the whole what if type of series. You know that the whole show. So I and I would. It's going to be a what if wave pretty much. So I, that's what I'm expecting. Yep. So I definitely agree with that one, Zach. I think we'll definitely see this one this year with that what if. Mm-hmm. And I definitely want to see him, but you know, if they only do that same scale you're talking about there, man cave, it, it's it's like, do I really need it because I got the select? 
because it's yeah. the exact same scale True. as the select. So, True. and the select one's pretty good. Yeah. yeah, I think it depends on what it looks like. If it looks too cartoonish or something like that, then mm -hmm. you know. But if it actually mm -hmm. like looks spot on to how it should look, then yeah, you know that's the tough thing. If they do do it with the what if that is completely cartoon, but how cartoonish does it look? You know, I think it still looks pretty pretty normal. Yeah, I mean, we're talking about something that comes out of comic book, which is cartoons, so right? Yeah. Yeah. All right, so we got uh, Lockjaw we talked about in the chat already. I want to see this so bad. Man Cave, you passed one of the Mezcos in Needless. Yes, the other I did. day in Lincoln. I did. It was on the floor. Oh, my gosh. I want to – want... if they don't give us a build figure, I want. I really think I'm going to have to go pick up that Mezco. Man, you need to talk to them because they're good pricing over there. So that would be uh, – most of this stuff is retail So you, for that kind of stuff. So I would definitely uh, – if you're considering it all, I would think about it. I'd think yeah. about talking to them. But, I, you know, I still think that I don't understand why they couldn't do this with Crystal as a rider. Which they could. Mm -hmm. But that's not how I would I, – I know, I know that Hasbro wants to do this. I just think they're trying to find the right time because I know that, you know, the Inhuman show, that bombed. Mm. So I think that sort of messed them up. And I don't know. I mean, there's a possibility with Ms. Marvel coming out this this year that, you know, maybe they could tie the Inhumans in with that. I, I don't know the likelihood of that. If they don't completely just change her storyline. Yeah, but I'm, I don't know. I'm still hoping that it's, it's the Inhumans connection and they can bring that back. Or you know, reboot in in humans and whatnot, uh, but I just I feel like if anything, we'll see an Inhumans box set, and that's my hope. I, I agree. I would love to see an Inhumans box set. Just give it all to us at once, and so that we can get caught up on that team because all we've seen is Medusa and Black Bolt multiple times. Right. So it wouldn't surprise me if we saw an Inhumans box set maybe the end of this year, um, as an exclusive to somewhere, you know, like Amazon or whatnot. So, Alan, they did release this in the collector's vault, but that was uh, the three and three quarter inch Marvel Universe stuff, mm -hmm. which almost uh, I almost went and got it just because of that. Even if it would have been smaller scale, I kind of just wanted that, too. Yeah. So I would say with this one, it's likely at some point, but I just don't know when. So X Ryan. um Zach did a review on that Rampaging Hulk 2 for the Marvel Select. Oh, my gosh. That thing is amazing. Mm -hmm. And I think Man Cave's got his order now. Yes. But I wanted the uh, the Android or cybernetic head on it, and, and Zach won't let us do that. He's, he's got it as a regular Hulk in the center of the Hulk's shelf. Yeah. I guess I'm going to have to order a second one. Yeah. All right. So we got from the X-Men, we have Armor. Hmm. What do y'all think about this one? Because she could put her body into whatever shape she wants. If you notice that that, sh that shot there on the left is is her shaped as Juggernaut. Oh, okay. So, so, can this happen and should this happen? I would love to see this. I don't know if it's likely to happen. Something I just thought about is if they give us a Holocaust figure, could they reuse that with armor, just kind or, of big trans translucent armor, and just throw her in there, right? Give her a different head sculpt. I don't know. Maybe. What do you think? I think it's just a hard dynamic to to have it where you have this sort of the outer armor and then the figure itself inside too. Mm -hmm. So that'll just be something that to me seems like it'd be hard to do. So I don't I don't see this being very likely to actually happen. But thinking about X Men and and larger scale build figures that they could do in X-Men waves. This has got to be the top. Hmm. And we'll talk about that. I'll do some comparisons to some X-Men stuff. And we'll see which one you guys think would be the, the most. Yeah. I mean, she's been main, main team. Uh, I haven't read a lot lately. Man, have you been uh, keeping up with X-Men any? Off and on. And yeah, she's, she's been pretty well visible for a while now. Yeah. She's of all that player. newer X Men uh, group, you know, she jumped into the main team very fast. Yeah, she did. Yeah, she proved herself pretty good. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. I mean, I would love to see it, and it's it's possible. It's just like I said, the hard dynamic of of being able to 
have the outer shell and then the figure itself too. Mm. Yeah. I just, it's just so tough, man, because I just don't see them, you know, you know, Hasbro is trying not to raise prices on us too fast. And when they start doing this kind of stuff, like they've got to, they've got to think about it, you know? Mm -hmm. So I, I don't know. All right. So man cave, uh, what's that, uh, Mighty Morphin Power Ranger thing you got there in the background? Uh, Zordon. Zordon. Does yeah. this remind you of Zordon? It does. I mean, they almost could reuse the Zordon, uh, whatever they call his hollow field thing that he's in. They have to put a new head in, obviously, but right, yeah. right, right. Yeah, they they could probably go and reuse that song. So, what do you think about the Korean uh, super intelligence here? Is it something that could be cool looking if they put it in that? Uh, you know, I don't want to. I don't want just the head. I actually want it in its uh, substance there. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't know how excited people would get for it. No, you know, I think this is a very obscure character that I think a lot of people would be like, whew, there's a there's something I don't have to have to buy." Right? <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know, which I've done a time or two. You know, with some different builder figures. You know, you just kind of like, "Ooh, thank goodness, I don't have to hunt that." So, I don't care uh, this, and I don't see it happening. I mean, I wouldn't mind it maybe to have in sort of the background of a display, uh, but. If anything, the only way I could see this ever happening is if we get some type of galactic box set and they just throw something cheap in there, you know, just to just just fill something up. And that's going to be the problem is that, yeah, there's not, not going to be any kind of articulation or anything on that head itself. It's just going to yeah. be sitting in the glass. Right. right. So. Uh, Jerry, you saw this in the X-Men animated series? I don't remember them ever going against the uh, Kree. So anyway, I love this. I think this would just be cool. I, uh, the scale just has to be right. It has to be, you know, large enough because this, uh, this thing is huge. Yeah. All no. right. So these next few are definitely never, ever going to be made. These next four will never be made as build of figures just because their sheer size is, is too big. And when you talk about this, you got these Celestials. If they're doing the HasLab for Celestia, right, can they do it and let you choose which one you want to get? Or are they going to make you, you know, how could they do it? They really couldn't. I mean, I don't know. I mean, that, that would be so hard. I mean, the only way that I can think that it's a possibility is if, I mean, they all use the same body. Yep, but there, but there's so many different colors. So and it's then, not like you can just give a bunch of heads. Yeah, so they would have to make different heads, and then make you choose which ones you want. I just, I just don't ever see this ever happening. Mm -mm, but the problem is, you know, these would be on scale with Galactus, right? Yeah. So they'll have the same mold already from Galactus. Whenever they that give us that, they could reuse the Galactus body easy for that. I mean, none of them would be yeah. exactly accurate to how they should look but uh, i just don't see it has labs gonna be a list only these guys are d list but you say that and then there's also the fact of if you can choose which color you want and which head sculpt you want to go with it exactly but again that doesn't change the fact that people don't even know who these guys are well they're but, going to though from the eternals but they're not going to look like this problem if there's maybe there's 12 of them, then that would be a lot easier to sell. It's just, first of all, first of all, I, I can just, that's just a weird possibility, but I don't think this will ever happen. Uh, but either way, having 12 figures this scale, where are you going to, where are you even going to put that? Yeah. You know, so no chance. All right. So no chance. All right. Then we got the living tribunal. That would be cool. Yeah. How the I'll heck do you make the head float above it? Um, magnets. Do we just get just the head and he he loses his body? <laughs> no, <laughs> they, they can do like a you know a, a, a clear little clear, body. yeah, kind of like what you got with stand. The, well, with like the hover chair for you know Professor Xavier, you know, but on an even smaller scale, you know, something mm -hmm. very small, clear plastic piece. But again, here, here we're talking about here we're talking about 
scale even larger than Galactus and the Celestials. And yeah. still not very popular. Yeah. True. So. Very true. I think this would be cool. I don't think this will happen. Right. Ever. I agree. I agree. Uh, but I'm pretty sure the Living Tribunal is going to make some type of appearance in the Loki show. Mm. Mm. Or at least he's not going to be anything like this, but he's going to have sort of a the MCU's version of the Living Tribunal, I believe. And that'll probably be something they can put in action figure form. No, because I don't. I don't think it's actually going to be like a specific character. I just think it's going to be like, like the uh, thought of it. It. What's the yeah, time variant? The TVA, the time variants, of whatever they're called. Right. I think it's just whoever's in charge of making decisions. There's like I don't. I, I just remember seeing in the trailer like three different heads, sort of in the background. Mm. It's like a stone look. So mm. I think it'll be more like three different judges. But not mm. actually like the living tribunal. Mm. So this was talked about in the chat earlier. We got ego, the living planet, which I'd mm. love to see. Easily done. There's no articulation unless they can maybe put some in the jaw to make his mouth move up and down some with the beard. Mm -hmm. I'd love to see this. Uh it'll never happen though, I don't think. Yeah. Oh, dog. I I don't see it happening either. But I mean it's a planet. So, you know, how big would that have to be? <laughs> you know? <laughs> the size of your house. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but you got to think about it. If it is a planet, like we look up at the moon, and the moon is, if you look at the moon, you put your hand like this, and the moon is this big whenever you put your hand like that, right? So if it's up in the corner in the distance, like it's, you know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Now you're reaching just a little bit. I'm reaching totally. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe they'll give us a, a backdrop or something. <laughs> just a little picture of him. <laughs> a little picture of him. You can just print it. Yeah, no. I would love that. I would love for that to happen, but if it did happen, it would be an extremely small planet. <laughs> so, yeah, not not very likely. All right, then you got your eternity figure. So again, huge. Um. The fact they've, like I said, the fact that they have thrown out the HasLab Sentinel to us has really messed up our scale and possibilities for any of these bigger figures. I think it could have happened, but until until they did the HasLab Sentinel now, I don't think there's any potential for any of these to have ever happen. No, there's not. Also, the fact that if, I mean, for this, like literally one dot on that figure is ego. <laughs> That's true. I mean, <laughs> seriously. You know, so again, yeah. it's a cool character, but that's just not, it's not a possibility. Mm. Yeah. And another dot is earth. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right. So that's my, that's my crazy ones. Those will never happen. All right. So here we go yeah. back to the X-Men. We got rock slide. Ooh, I like rock slide. Mm -hmm. That's cool right there. So would yeah. we put rock slide over armor? Yeah. yeah. I think it's just more doable. Yeah. You know, so could they, could the they root to retool thing? That's somehow? what I would do. Well, he has so many different shapes that he can do, you know, because he can, if he blows up, he can just put himself right back together. Yeah. You know, when he originally came out, he, he didn't have all those shards on him. He was kind of smooth like thing was. Mm -hmm. uh, but once he blew up one time and put himself back together, he started having all those weird shards on him. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. I think that's a thing retool right there. That's yeah. possible. That's a possibility. Definitely. Yep. And a cool one at that. Yeah. I just don't know where they would. Put it out in a city, man. Yeah. You know, unless just a regular build a figure in an X Men wave, which is obviously a possibility. I just don't know if that's going to be one of their first choices. Well, again, like I said, with X Men, there's not a lot left that they can do for large scale figures, in my opinion, yeah. besides some of these uh, younger X Men. Maybe. Yeah. yeah. So I would love to see it. Mm. All right, which I think about Mangog. Mangog. I think that's very likely. I mean, I know that sounds weird, but I'm pretty definite man God's going to be in uh, Thor 11 Thunder. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, why not? Yeah, definitely. I love this. And this could definitely be retooled from the, uh, if they do a Dragon Man. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. They that's could. Very likely. Then, mm -hmm. yeah, I would, I would love to see that. And maybe we'll see it. I mean, I, I would say that Knowing Hasbro, it's something they might pass on. Mm. But um, if we were going to get it, it would be probably the beginning of next year. Well, I mean, they just did Zimanu, right? And that's pretty obscure. 
That's true. If it's if it's going to be a retool of Dragon Man, we'll probably get it in 2025. <laughs> no, we'll get it the same exact year. <laughs> the same year. We'll get Dragon yeah. Man at the end of this year, and we'll get this guy at the beginning of next year. <laughs> uh, All right. Volstag from the Warriors 3. We definitely, number one, need to see the Warriors 3, period. But Volstag, to me, mm. would have to be a Build-A-Figure or just a three-pack with the three of them, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, we were talking about the blob. This is a completely different shape body than what the blob would be, so they couldn't reuse that, right? Right. Mm, they might could reuse bits and pieces somehow. Like use the lower belly and the lower legs maybe? Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Just have, have a different – you know, they'd have the abdominal cut, you know, like we see in most legends, and then you'd have a different upper chest area. It's possible. But to me, with the fact that we need all three, if you're going to get one, the smartest thing would be – Three pack. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. So would we get like Heimdall with that too? And I don't know, maybe the fact that we were supposed to get another Lady Sif, so maybe a five pack instead. I don't know. Oh, because they already have the mold for that Sif as well. And we were supposed to, you know, it, for the uh, fan choice. Yeah. But yeah, like, Heimdall definitely needs to have a comic accurate version too. Yeah. Right. So I don't know. And we need we need a lot more Thor characters anyway. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, Thor and Black Panther are both kind of properties that they've not done a good job of like giving villains and things like that. And Hulk part of yeah, Hulk so, too. Yeah. Here is my first uh, MCU Sir on Kurt. the list. And when I saw this in the Thor three movie, I was like, "Wow, yes, please make a Surtur figure." Mm -hmm. Even though he got beat, he did destroy uh, Asgard, though. Yeah, and he looked amazing on screen. Completely. Yeah. So I'm definite on this. Now, whether or not they'll give us the MCU version, I, I doubt we'll ever see something like this. Yeah. I know that we are getting some uh, figures from Thor Ragnarok this year. Hmm. Uh, because we're getting that rumored... Um, sort of anniversary line they're doing. Mm -hmm. So I know we're getting at least something from Thor Ragnarok. I can't remember the pricing on it, uh, but I, I just, but I don't see this happening necessarily. We just need another Jeff Goldblum figure. <laughs> we already got two, don't we? No, yeah, we need... but can you ever have enough <laughs> of Jeff Goldblum? Oh my gosh. So here's the deal. You know, we was talking about the fact that we got giant man that to me could be another giant man mold reused. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, they could. Yeah, you just got to throw the tail portion on it, I guess, if you use the uh, comic book version. Yep, yep. That so. would just be a cool-looking figure. That would be super awesome. Especially if it was done in kind of a similar style to the Walgreens uh, uh, Johnny Storm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know how it's kind of that translucent right. orange plastic, mm -hmm. but just in a much bigger you know, version? I think yeah. that would be so cool-looking. Definitely. Yeah, I definitely want to see this. Mm -hmm. All right, so we have the Black Order now from MCU twice. They gave it to us individually. Once one of one of the figures was a build a figure, and then they just gave it to us again as an Amazon box set. Right. So we do have the MCU. This is the only MCU we have in our collection. Is that Black Order? I want the comic accurate Black Order, and uh, I'm with you. So do I. The uh, Black Dwarf here, or what they call Cull Obsidian, is build a figure wise what I would want to see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that would be awesome. But then again, it's just, that's hard because, you know, they've already released a Black Order twice. So, I know. I know. Yeah. and if they did it again, I'd see it more likely as another box set. But would they do another box set for that? So, but yeah, I would, I would still love to see it. And I don't think it'd be hard for them to do it. They could probably reuse the MCU body. I agree. Do some and, and slightly and retool, repaint. Do that sculpt. Yeah. The That's MCU stuff. body looks um, as a great body mold. It really is. It is. This guy. Yeah, it's perfect. Mm -hmm. So somebody mentioned Ymir. And I think, Jacob, is, is Ymir, is that uh, Loki's dad? 
Let me know if that's who that is. Uh, it's kind of like a big frost giant looking guy, real snowy looking. I'm not sure mm-hmm. who he, who that is uh, right offhand. Yeah, I, I'm definitely on, on just get me a comic accurate Black Order. Yeah, I'm with you. I'm I'm in on that. All right, what do y'all think about Franken Castle as a build a figure? <laughs> Is it too late for that? I mean, that, that storyline's gone, but that was one of the coolest storylines they ever did. I would say within the next couple of years, this would be more likely than ever because of them doing MCU sort of darker side of stuff. So, you know, if we're getting Moon Knight, if we're getting Blade, you know, stuff like that, then this would be a good figure to throw in waves like that. Mm-hmm. Um, does he need to be build a figure though? Mm. He doesn't have to be, but I would say with the unique sculpt, he's more likely to be build a figure. Yeah, because I mean, so, look at him in the in the right hand image there, and of course he's bigger. Of course he's in the front foreground. Uh, look at him holding Dakin there, and he's definitely a larger scale figure. So he's more of that eight inch scale probably instead of six inch. So yeah, I think he'd have to be the builder figure, and I I would love this. This would be so obscure, and like you said, Zach, maybe in there in there when they get to that point of doing the Moon Knight show, we can get something obscure like this. Exactly. But then again, I feel like with the Disney Plus stuff, they're probably going to try to just condense the different shows into uh, one wave, like they they're doing right now. With yeah, Howard, I know that that's true. Martin Vision, you know, Falcon Winter Soldier, and Loki, all is one wave. Yeah, that's true. So, I think they kind of missed the mark with that. I think they actually could have had a way for all that, and some some of these MCU Disney Plus guys would have probably picked it up. Yeah, mm-hmm. but honest, yeah, that's that's the thing is, but honestly, I don't know if they necessarily need to have waves for some of this stuff. You know, just start start releasing some of those figures as just individual figures or two packs or whatnot. You know, instead of having to have it as a wave. Yeah, you got a power surge going on over there, man cave. Uh, no, what's up? Uh, I see lights flashing. Or oh, my lights flash. Oh yeah, I see that a little bit. I don't know what it's doing. All right, jumping into Hulk villain, you got the Zax. I can't ever see this one happening just because it's so weird. I'd love to see it, but I think it, it'd be too hard to make. It would be hard to make. Yeah. Unless they just because it wouldn't be exactly how you probably want it. I mean, it's ele- It's it's literally electricity. Mm-hmm. So. I mean, I think the best they could do for something like this is if they gave more of that translucent look to a pretty flat looking figure. So I can't see that one happening, but I think that would be a cool one. But they're giving a Zimanu. Yes, but it's not hard to make I mean, Zimanu. But like I said, I mean, what if they just gave us the Hulk body and did like a translucent look to it? Yeah. I mean, would that would that be good enough? I don't know. I think that's the best that we would get. I don't see hey, that. Franken Castle has been around since 2012. That's crazy. Hmm. Man, I would love. I got to go find that prototype. I, I never saw that. All right, so one that they did have a prototype for that I cannot believe didn't win that year's fan choice is the Bi Beast. Yeah. So you got the mold already out there. Get this thing released. This is amazing. Man, yeah. That's a whole body with different hands and head sculpt. Yep. Uh, Fit different feet. Yeah. It's easy as pie. That is easy. Yeah, that'll be really easy for them to do. But definitely not that body. That, no, that, yeah, that body. that's the older body, definitely. But yeah. Exactly. So, yeah, but, I mean, that dumb looking Valkyrie that we got was the winner. That Toys R Us uh, two pack with uh, Valkyrie and Hulk. Mm-hmm. That was the worst looking figure, and it won yeah. over something like this. Yeah. Uh, there was a five inch uh, by beast figure that was made and it does not scale with Marvel legends at all, but it was a cool looking figure. I wanted it to scale so bad, but it, it did not. Mm-hmm. So Damien, I'm thinking molten man parts could work for the, uh, for the Zacks as well. Uh, I was thinking that as well too, but they're so different, you know, Yeah, I mean, it's lava versus, Electricity. Yeah. 
No. All right, so jumping into some Spider-Man stuff, how about the uh, Karn figure with his big old ball there, the Master Weaver? That would be pretty cool. Mm -hmm. I love a lot of her stuff. I mean, he's dead now, of course, but did yeah. he come back yet? He didn't come back or anything, did he? Um, and the web's still broken, right? Yeah, I think we, so. We know nobody's really dead, though. <laughs> <laughs> So I should have put uh, this one before it, but I'd much rather see, I, I would much rather see a Madam Web in her chair before I would the Karn. What do y'all think about that? I agree. That? I agree I, with that. Madam Web's bigger name. Yeah. Is is Madam Web with her chair? Are we happy to say that would be a build a figure? I would be. It's a rider, rider series. It is a rider series. I thought that too a long time ago. <laughs> Too obscure for Rider series, though. It is. Yeah. Well, we say that, and they gave a Squirrel Girl. Oh, my gosh. You're right about that. And she's still sitting on shelves. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Golly. Every time I walk into Target, I'm just like, please, no Squirrel Girl. Anybody but Squirrel Girl. And there she is, sitting yep. there waiting. So, yeah, I could see this as the Deluxe now. Um, yeah, Deluxe. That's like a fan channel Deluxe figure. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I mean, I don't think. I mean, what could they reuse for the figure? Nothing. You don't think they could reuse? I mean, they could probably reuse some parts, you know, and make uh, it. They figure. could reuse it later on and make her an Aunt May. Hmm. I don't know. Of course, they need to make an Aunt May too. But yeah. I think that Squirrel Girl was fine. Uh, she just didn't need to be a rider, I don't think. Yeah. All right, so back to the X-Men and another crazy one from that same team, Rock Slide, Armor, and then you had Glob Herman. Mm -hmm. So another translucent one here. Yep. Is this with the bones showing? Is that too much for them to do? Uh, I think that's fine. I don't I don't see an issue with that. Is I mean, this Mm. Is this cool? Do you like this? I would I would love that. Yeah, I think that's cool. I like the character too. Yeah. But yeah. He's gotten bigger as well lately. Yes. He's kind of cowardy, but he's cool. But but Hasbro would have to make a whole new figure for that. Yeah. And uh, try to figure out how to Could you somehow know. use the Holocaust? Could Holocaust and him kind of could that somehow work out? Mm -mm. You know what mm -hmm. reminds me of this right here, Zach? You remember our camo figure that we had back in the DC uh, multiverse stuff? Yeah. I think that, the, of course, it was huge. And he's not that big. He's more of a regular scale figure. I just don't know how they can do this. I mean, I have no idea. You know what I, this sort of reminds me of, though? You know how they uh, are giving us that skull, that ripped out skull with the uh, Doctor Doom? Uh-huh. You think they could? I mean, is that them testing out some stuff like that to give us? Well, there you go right there. Was saying, can they do skulls or not? Was which, which is what I was asking a minute ago. And they doing it. I mean, we, we know that now. Um. So I have no idea. I think this armor and Holocaust can all sort of are around the same line of of difficulty to do. Yeah. All right. How about our? Venomized oh, yeah. T Rex from gotta the, happen from the old man Logan storyline. Yeah. That thing looks amazing, but it's but I don't know, it's obscure. Uh, but it is, but it's used several times, uh, in, in some Venom stories too. Yeah, yeah, but yeah it, it is. That's the thing because if they gave us Devil Dinosaur, <laughs> right? Yes, completely, they could reuse that. They could. But that's still like you say that, but you know how much more sculpt would have to go on to this to make it look venomized. Mm -hmm. But you know, Hasbro already has T Rex sculpts, you know? From. Oh, shoot. No, that's Mattel, ain't it? Mattel okay. would be the T Rex. Yep. So they may not have them. Surely they got them somewhere. Surely somewhere Hasbro's done a T Rex. I don't know. And that's going to be the thing with this, you know, how can you make a build a figure out of this? Can you? No. Or again, is that is that going deluxe? More than deluxe. Yeah, this is this would be big. I don't I mean, see it. At, 
look at the size of him in that picture with that Jeep. Oh yeah. You know, yeah. like their heads are the size of his eyeball. Yeah. I don't, I, don't, happening. I don't see there's a chance of that. As cool as it would be. Yeah. I don't see it. All right. So going back to spider verse, how about your Leo pardon? Mm. Uh, no, never, never going to happen probably, but would you like to see never it? Never going to happen. Well, you know, you say that, but if they're doing Power Ranger stuff, mm. I mean, yeah. they could do it. I would like to see it because, like I said, Spider Verse stuff is is the type of stuff I like. But yeah, I, I would say with without Power Rangers, there's no likelihood. But if Power Rangers does this type of stuff, then they could easily do that. And that's the thing I was wanting to kind of talk about that too. I don't have time for it tonight, but. Uh... With the fact that these other lines haven't never jumped into build a figures like Marvel did, it's kind of crazy to me, especially with Power Rangers, that we haven't seen the build a figures for these uh, Zords. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, so Jacob, that uh, that giant T Rex you're talking about, that is Mattel. That is not Hasbro. So Amadeus Chow Hulk or Cho. That's easy. Uh, we should have already had that. Hundred yeah. percent. I mean his his big time his big day in the sun too is already past. I mean, you know his time is kind of already passed. Some when Hulk was dead, that was kind of his time. They should have been making a figure then. Mm -hmm. yeah. But that'd be easy for them to do. It'd be easy for them to do. Yep. So, I love this fan art stuff that they do on these covers, like this yeah. right here. Sure Granted, that's not a real good head head like head drawing. Yeah. Kind of too too stumpy. This was another one that they missed out on. I know they did it in the Marvel Universe. But how in the world did we not get this in this Marvel Now Hulk with his armor in Marvel Legends form? Yeah. Is it too late for this? Or is this still something think people would think would, co would be uh, cool if we got it? I think anything Hulk related people are on. I agree. And there you could just reuse that body again. Mm-hmm. For the most part. And I'm assuming, you know, those boots would have been cool if we would have got that with Maestro and they could read it. <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> yes. Should have, could have, would have. Mm -hmm. All right. Then we got our Colossus Juggernaut. Mm, that'd be fun. Again, that'd Marvel Universe fun. did this, but we never saw it in Marvel Legends. Yeah. Yeah. That would be awesome. I would think but that again, wouldn't be super hard either. It wouldn't at all. I wouldn't think so either. I would be the happy. The problem is it was such a short, short time of the storyline. How many people would still be interested in it? A lot. Probably a good bit. Yeah. Depending on the way they released it. Um, but what would have to be new? You know, would it have to be new legs, new arms? Yeah. I think they would use probably the – the torso of the juggernaut figure, the build a figure. Right. Exactly. I, I think you would, you would work with that, but yeah, I think you'd have to do some new sculpts because the Colossus arms and legs aren't going to, aren't going to port over to the juggernaut yeah, build a figure. Not a chance. No, no. But yeah, I would love to see that too. All right, here we go. We're talking about the Fox Deadpool stuff. And this is a must, in my opinion, to do yeah. both the Colossus and the Juggernaut. And I think this, rather than being build a figures, just do a two pack of this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, I make it a make it a fifty dollar two pack and, and give it to us. Yep. You think fifty dollars be enough? No, uh, seventy five dollars, sixty nine ninety nine, <laughs> probably. <laughs> probably. I would say that the next time that we see Fox X Men figures, these are going to be coming with that probably. And they've teased that they're uh, they kind of teased in their last video that they were going to be doing uh, uh, some more Fox X Men stuff. So mm -hmm. and and talked about something with this. So we'll see. Yep, but this is huge. I mean, you know, people will buy it. Super oh like, gosh, yes, one hundred percent. Yeah, obviously. So I, I think this is definitely going to be coming at some point. Probably yeah. next year. I agree. Yeah, their their two packs lately have kind of been hit and miss. Uh, you want one out of the two usually. Mm -hmm. All right, how about uh, Ursa Major? Mm, it'd be cool. 
you know, I Zach mean, mentioned, mentioned that uh, I kind of missed the missed the buck on this because I could have done a grizzly figure as well for Spider Man villains. Yeah. So that I actually think this figure could come this year as the build a figure for the rumored Iron Man wave. Yeah, you know, because you said there's a couple of uh, of the uh, Russian team members in that wave, right? Mm hmm. Or at least one. I mean, I know there's um female, right? Whatever the female's name is in that. So I'm thinking they might just go ahead and finish off that, you know, with the with the Iron Man wave and give us this as a build figure. And do you think they could? I don't know. Do you think this had to be a new body? Yes, 100%. Because I would hate for this to be like a Sasquatch body or something like that. You know, I said 100%, but I think Sasquatch body, Sasquatch body could work. It could work, mm -hmm. but I thought this guy should be bulkier. Yeah. It should be, but, you know. Yeah, the Winter Guard team is what they're called. Mm-hmm. So I think, we, I think you're right, Zach. I think we'll see this one this year, too. Yep. All right, so we already got a few figures for the Into the Spider-Verse, but I think that they, if they're going to go any further with it, I think these three are a must. So I'm going to make you guys choose of these three figures, which one would you want to have as the Build-A-Figure, as the as the first Build-A-Figure? Mm. In the chat, what would you guys put? Would it be Scorpion, Kingpin, or the spider So I think the one most likely to happen of, of these would be the Scorpion. Just an easier easier thing to make. Mm, I don't know about that. Why would you say how is that easier? I was thinking SPDR. I was thinking Kingpin. <laughs> or I'll think of something different. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I think I would, I would much rather see Scorpion. I know Kingpin played a bigger role in it. Mm-hmm. Um but I think SP slash slash DR would actually still pre be pretty cool to actually fit on our main shelf. What do you think about that? Yeah. I mean, I know we already got a SP slash DR, but I mean, we're talking. I don't know. Yeah. So I think that they missed the, you know, they missed the mark in general from uh, just go ahead and giving us a full into the Spider-Verse wave. Mm-hmm instead of giving some comic figures in there too. I think that we should have had the four figures that we got. Um, I think they probably could have done SP slash SDR as a single figure. Mm -hmm. And then Spider-Man Noir. So, and then maybe a Doc Ock female figure and have those seven figures in the wave. Yeah. Or Scorpion build a figure. And then give us a three pack with the fully costumed uh, Peter B. Parker um, a fully costume Miles Morales and Kingpin, or just a deluxe Kingpin <laughs> figure, right? But I think probably a lot of people want the fully costume Miles and Peter B. Parker as well. Yeah, I, I'm saying we'll probably see more of this because they said that they're definitely going to do more waves of this stuff. But like you said, Man Cave, if, if they're sitting on the shelf, are we, are we really going to see it? I don't know. Yeah, I don't, well, I don't know if these are going to be happening now. I don't really picture a wave two with the figures that we have left over. Mm. It wouldn't be a really strong wave. Yeah. I mean, unless they gave us the fully costumed other figures, like I said, in a, in a second wave, which, which is a possibility. I, I don't know if, uh, you know, for me, I kind of feel like a little bit the timing was wrong too on that wave. You know, it's like it came in the middle of the, movies you know mm -hmm. it didn't come with the first movie it hasn't now it's not come with the second movie so it's right it's a it's a, it's a real big law for the for that movie in general for that movie line so think, when it, what is the second movie coming out Do you know that? i don't i don't with covid man i i just i yeah. can't keep up with it when anything's coming out Let's see. Let's yes see. so i mean I would say we'll probably see a second wave, obviously, during whenever we see the second movie come out. But I, don't, I wouldn't expect really anything else from it in between time. So, man, uh, Will Beatty, if y'all haven't watched the new Mutants movie, guys, that movie was amazing. And Demon Bear uh, was in that movie. 
perfect movie. I cannot believe we had to wait so long to see it. Mm -hmm. Get out there and see New Mutants if you haven't. Uh, but doing a demon bear as the uh, as like a second version of Ursa Major. I don't know about that. I'd want it to be a lot bigger. Hey guys, yeah. just hey, real, real quick. I hate to interrupt you, but the question we just had about into Spider Verse two. So this is on Digital Spy. I don't know if this is legit or not, but it says the original sequel was set for April 8th of 2022, and now it's been pushed to October 7th of 2022. Mm, that sounds I, about right. I had no clue it was that far off. I thought it was this year. No. So, yeah, I mean, just there's no hype around the movie right now. You no. know? So that's, the, that's why they're just peg warming everywhere. Yeah. yeah. All right, so Psycho Man, another Fantastic Four villain. I, this is I, probably on the bottom part of my list, but I like it. I actually see this as being very likely. Okay. Uh, I see this as being another figure that gets that uh, retro card treatment. And um, I mean, he was one of the original figures in the Retro Fantasy Four line. That is true. So that's sort of what I'm I'm thinking. Yeah, nostalgic wise, that would be perfect to to actually give something that we've seen before in the in the smaller stuff. Mm-hmm. So Jacob says hit on that one. <laughs> uh, I like it. I like the design. He's a bigger, like I said, bigger figure. Yeah. Cool in a retro series. All right. How yep. about stay on guys for, for Spider-Man build figures? You know, I want this one. Yeah. Everybody wants a dinosaur. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This has been one of the figures that I've, I've been wanting the most for a long time. I well, you know, it was, it was sell just because of its design and look. Oh right. yeah, totally. But you know, I haven't had another Spider-Man besides the Madam Web and uh, Karn on this list yet. Besides the Spider Verse stuff. For what, like a build a figure? Yeah. So to me, this could be one of our next ones. I don't know. I mean, probably. I'm going to say not this year. Um, because we're going to have the third Spider-Man film at the end of this year. So I'm assuming it's going to be MCU wave. Yeah, but, that is true. That's a good point. That sucks. Yeah. I really want some regular Spider-Man figures. We need so many. <laughs> we really, I mean, yeah, you say that, but I don't know. I mean, we still got a We still got a pretty good size, you know, amount of figures and they're still going to, Oh be, yeah. 100%. Other retro figures and whatnot. That's a lot of re re uh, reissues of other figures. Yeah, but yeah, this right, is so Stegron is definitely a hit. Oh, completely. Yeah, that would be a cool one. All right, we got the uh, Super Adaptoid. Who is? Uh, I can't think of the DC guy's name that can do the same thing, guys. What's his name uh, that can take the powers of all the uh, Justice League? This guy does the same thing for the Avengers. He has all the powers of all the Avengers. Hmm. Dang, what is his name? Hmm. I can't think of his name in DC right now, right offhand. Okay. But anyway, Amazo. Yep, Amazo. That's right. It's like, it's like yeah. Mimic. It's kind of like Mimic. Um, for the X Mimic has the five powers. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I mean, sort of, but this is a robot instead. Correct. Yeah. Um, Does so, this need to be build a figure? Yeah, because of all the interchangeable parts that we would hopefully get. Mm -hmm. That's a good point. Uh, but it would just be hard for them to do. You know, like, what would they give us? I don't know. I don't know, though. A lot of these parts, wouldn't they kind of already have them? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Kind of create a torso that would sort of kit fit with them all. You know? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that Hulk arm would be the hardest one to fit. But, man, I want to see this so bad. Yeah. But, I mean, this, they could do it with the uh, Super Scroll. You know, give us a thing arm yeah. with that. If that's a little bit bigger. So, just do the same thing for Hulk. You know, yeah, with that's this. true. That's an easy one right there. I don't think that'd be too hard. It just no. takes a little bit of creativity. All right, we got stature. So this will be our first female in the large form. Yeah. Must and, have. And she's uh gonna be in the Ant Man show or Ant Man movie. Third mm -hmm. third Ant Man. Is it third or second? Third. Third. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, this is yeah. the third Ant Man, yeah. Third. So an actress they got a new actress playing the role now. Yeah. And the fact they're pushing Young Avengers so hard, I think this is going to happen. I really, really yeah. hope so. Yeah. Unless it takes a return and, and instead of stature, you know, it gets Stinger for the MCU. 
Mm-hmm. That's true. But I can really, hear though, is this going to be a situation where she's six inches tall? You mm-hmm. know, I just, I just don't see them giving us a proper scaled, I guess, giant size version. Mm. Because like you said, they're never going to use the mold again for a female. Correct. Yeah. But either way, we need all the young Avengers. Totally redone again. Yeah. yeah even if they just do them in six inches, it would be cool. <laughs> just to have them all. All right. How about the uh, executioner? Yes. As a build a figure? No, I don't think he'd be a build a figure. To me, he's kind of like Terax. Like he's kind of on that verge of like kind of deluxe, but not, uh, you know, you could, I don't know, you could do it both ways. I yeah. think it depends on the way he's drawn. Cause I mean, if you look at the right image right there, he looks huge. But I don't yeah. feel like it's always yeah. just that big. But we also have gotten like a little monkey as a build a figure. We got uh, Jubilee as a build a figure. We don't got, remind I mean, me. Let's, don't let's, remind me. Those are the worst uh, times in my life. <laughs> let's think about all the little people that we've gotten as build a figures here, you know? Mm. So horrible. I'm pretty sure uh, the Black Panther wave gave us a little build a figure, like a normal sized person. What at the MCU? What, didn't they give us like one of the Shari or whatever? Oh, they gave us, uh, was that a Koye? Yeah, Koye. Yeah, Koye. <laughs> yeah. They just and give us regular been, sized characters and build. He, he has been done in MCU, and that MCU looks a lot like the one on the left there with his guns and everything. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I'd, I'd like to see the far right version. Yes, 100%. Yes. Yeah. I don't see this happening. I thought this was going to be the one for the bring on the bad guys wave, but now that it hasn't happened, I don't think it's going to. And now that he wasn't part of the WandaVision show that I thought he was going to be. Mm. Unless he becomes a big part of the MCU, which is likely, but mm. I would love to see. I just, I, I don't think it's a build a figure though. You know? No, I don't, I don't think it has to be unless we get like the throne, which I've been begging for, for all these other figures. Yeah. But it's just it's it's one of those things where it's like would Hasbro do something like that? Would they give us, you know, a devil like figure? You know, I don't know. I mean, I know we're get, we got we're getting Dormammu, Hella, but yeah, guys, this, guy, done. this guy looks a lot more like a devil than yeah than characters would. So yeah. yeah, I don't know. I don't. I, I think it's possible. Andre, I agree. I love my Marvel Select version, and yep. he's got his throne as well. So. Mm-hmm. All right, so this is our Devil, Devil Hulk. Hulk. Hmm. And so it looks like there's two different versions that they've done over the years. Hmm. So I would definitely love to see anything else Hulk wise, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a sucker for this kind of stuff. I really am too. Yeah. Different iterations of characters and yeah. whatnot. Just big, bulky. Just looks so good on a shelf. Yeah, yeah. I just don't know if this one will happen. I don't think it will. Nah, too obscure. Yeah. All right, so we talked about Lockjaw. Does Gorgon need to be build a figure? No. I I know he's a bigger figure, but I don't think he needs to be a build a figure. Okay. And if anything, like I said, box set. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, with the rest of the Inhumans. Mm Mm-hmm. You agree, man cave? I'm trying to think. What what's the biggest and maybe even guys in the comments can help us with this one? What's the biggest non build a figure, regular carded figure we've really gotten, say in the last five, six years? Since they kind of started doing the new box, you know, thing. Kind of the new box. Is thing the yeah. biggest non build a figure figure we've received? Y'all throw throw some yes. ideas in the comments over there. And we're uh, we're, not, we're not talking deluxe like like the Kingpin stuff. Or we're not talking two pack stuff like that. Two pack would a three pack would have been the Nimrod. Nimrod or Hulk. Nimrod. Hulk, Hulk is deluxe as well. But yeah, I'm gonna have to say it was the thing figure. I agree. But what about the so, so we said we're not talking two packs. We're talking single card of figure. Gotta think with, yeah, because Cause, cause Juggernaut would be bigger than Thing. Well, yeah, but Juggernaut and Hulk and um, and Nimrod, those are all at more of a deluxe price. Correct. Yeah. yeah. With, yeah. In those two-pack, three-pack. Right. So, yeah, I would say the thing. 
But yeah, the fact that they've proven that they can stick a larger figure in a box again with the thing figure. Yeah, Wrecker did it back in the day. All the, all the Wrecking Crew did it back in yeah. the day. Oh, yeah, that's that's a good point. Yeah. But but I guess in the past five years, probably with kind of the new box style, thing is the biggest single carded figure we've gotten. Right. That, do we all agree uh, on that? The, Dave Jones is right. They did do that Groot uh, evolution where they actually took his legs off and laid them down, and it was oh, regular, regular price. Good point. Good. That was a Toys R Us exclusive. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. That's the one that I saw like 20 of them that time and, and didn't buy any of them. Yep. yep. That was one of the last times I was in Target, actually. I mean, uh, in Toys, Toys R Us. Yeah. Bought that one actually got pretty pricey. Yeah. Uh, we it. actually got a good price back for it because we bought it at the convention for way too high. So All right. Funny, so speaking of Groot, dude. jumping right into him, uh, you know, we got the MCU version. We did get a box set version. Uh, I think it was Entertainment Earth exclusive that we got on our shelf. But they don't have that classic look to them like this one does with the with the uniform that matches rockets. Mm -hmm. What do you think about this version? And they did make a version of Groot like this in the three and three quarter inch. Right. Yeah, I mean, if they're going to hit all the versions, I mean, you need this one out there. Yeah. You do, but that's just harder for them to do with a lot, a lot more, you know, new sculpt. Yeah. Uh, the masses love the MCU version and probably for the most part use MCU in their regular comic book, uh, you know, guardians, but, right. but yeah, I mean, I'm sure there's a handful of people that would love to see a true comic book accurate version. Mm -hmm. But isn't, isn't the more modern version of Groot more like look more like the, uh, the MCU version? Yes. He has slowly over time, you know how they do it too. Kind of as as you get closer to movies in the comic books, you actually start seeing characters right. slowly evolve to look more like their MCU counterpart. Yeah, Star Lord yeah. did it too. Yeah, he did. So I I think that's uh, that's kind of what's happened with Groot over time. I would still like to see this version. Maybe I don't know. Maybe we see uh, this with. I know there's different versions of Gamora, a classic Drax. Mm -hmm. Oh man, a classic Drax with his saxophone and his his. Oh, that'd be amazing. I'd love to see that. Yeah, mm -hmm. I don't know. All right, uh, I think this is going to be our build a figure for the AOA wave. Hmm. Over Holocaust. Yes. Hmm. I don't know. I think for the fact that we've already gotten a Holocaust in the past, I really think that this will be the build a figure. But again, like you said, this could they, they could do this as a regular release figure. I just don't see how they could. They've already given us Colossus as a regular release, right? So yes, we've already got him true. as a normal carded figure. I look at this one as oh, he's a bigger bit. I, a I feel pack, like this one's bigger. He is a lot bigger. Yeah. So. But will they do him a lot bigger? And then here's your reused, reused arms to get your, uh, your juggernaut Colossus build a figure. That's a good point. Or, yeah, yeah, you're, yeah. That, that would be a good point right there. Yeah, you're going to get two figures. If if you build him the size of the juggernaut build a figure, you're going to get two figures out of that same body mold. That's uh -huh. a good point. Yeah. All right, so we talked about the uh, Venomized T-Rex. Here is your Devil Dinosaur, and you could give him both Moon Boy and Moon Girl mm -hmm. as the Riders. But I think build a figure. I don't know. No. Like you said, that the scale there is just so hard to be able to put, especially that head. Yeah, it'll be a big deluxe. Probably. I don't know. I don't know what the price point be on something like this. I mean, it would have to be huge. I mean, it'd have to be massive. You think about probably, probably. But I, I think this is definitely going to happen. Actually, uh, I honestly think this will happen at some point. I want to see it definitely. This I I would you rather see this one over the T Rex over the uh, Venomized T Rex? Oh yeah, yeah. And do you if you get this, do you have to have Moon Girl? Mm -hmm. And Moon Boy, one of the two. Yeah. But which is an easy throw in. It makes sense for them to do that. Yeah. Yeah. I think we'll probably be more likely to actually see Moon Girl, as she has her own what comic series right now. Yes, yeah, she does big time. Yeah. 
All right, so here's one that I've been seeing in the chat like crazy. A bomb is a A-bomb, must. Yeah. Yes, yeah. but the problem is he's been depowered now. Yeah, so he's he's back to Rick Jones again. But I don't think people care from that standpoint. I think this is more of a he's always been a, a you know a prominent character in the Hulk universe, especially. So mm-hmm. this would be kind of something to add to your Hulk to your Hulk shelf. And it will pop because that blue. Oh will- yeah, yeah. And they probably could do some reuse of abomination. Yeah, probably was, wouldn't be that tough of a you know tough of a of a build out. Could be a build a figure. Could be a deluxe on a deluxe card. Either way. And looking at that compared to the the, the abomination we do have compared to the uh, the thing figure, they like you said that could be definitely fit in a pack. Why not? Mm-hmm. But yeah, I, I don't know. If, I think if, if they did that, though, it would definitely be a probably a deluxe figure. I think it would be just like Maestro. Andre says that they'll make the uh, the Devil Dinosaur single carded, and the Moon Boy will be the, the, your uh, build a figure. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that would that'd probably be Hasbro for you right there. Oh my yeah. gosh, that's yeah, horrible. Moon, Moon Boy's left leg will come with Devil Dinosaur. <laughs> hmm. Imagine. All right, so what about Orca? That's cool. So got two different versions here. One of them actually has like the killer whale suit on him on the right there mm-hmm. versus the regular blue, which is kind of the teeth around his face. Yeah. I'm liking the regular blue in the middle myself. Yeah, I, am, I think so. I think that's his more often appearance. Yeah. Um, and, you know, if we're going to start getting any kind of name or stuff with the Black Panther movie they're thinking, they're thinking about. I'll, you yeah. Reuse I'll, the feet maybe on Frogman. I don't know. Mm. You think Namor is going to be used in the Black Panther more I than think like Fantastic so. Four? I think so. I think he's going to make his appearance in the Black Panther movie. Hmm. Um, but I would still rather see a Tuma than than a uh, Orca. Yeah, you sure? I would. I think a Tuma is probably a more popular character. In my, opinion. I agree. But look wise, I mean, or he probably has. Yeah, probably has a cooler look. I don't know. And then you kind of go back and say, well, should a tumor just be a regular release? I feel like, yeah, I thought, I don't know. I thought that's another Terex deal. Yep. About that size where it's hard to, hard to say it's in between. So Damien curse, who is curse? He's a classic Thor villain curse. Let me see who this is. Uh, I don't know this guy. You ever seen him? Mm, no. I don't know much about him. I mean, he's cool looking, but I don't know anything about him. Yep. Yeah, I have no idea. Did you guys see uh, Charles Farley? Says it would be cool if we got X-Men 90s animated cartoon looking figures like how NECA made the TMNT arcade style. <sighs> I would like to see an animated cartoon line. You know, we, we've gotten close. You know, the kind of the Jim Lee 90s stuff kind of mm-hmm. fits that bill slightly. But but I get what Charles is saying. They they, they could do a little more of an animated paint scheme on them. I, I yeah. think a lot of people would be for that. I mean, just imagine how many animated shows we've had over the years. And they, oh, if yeah. they go and touch base on all those and actually make them that cartoony look too. Yeah. Again, don't put them in my regular line, but just, you know, spin off. Right. I mean, you, you could look at the uh, Code of Bukia, did the one-tenth scale, you know, statues. Remember, I had all of them. Mm-hmm. And they did them in that animated line, and they looked fantastic. Um, I think they could do that, and they probably could reuse a lot of what they already have. It'd just be different paint schemes. Yeah. Right. It'd be that, that more powder-colored paint versus kind of the glossy stuff they typically use. Well, to be honest with you, I mean, I feel like Hasbro's already trying to – do that a little bit with the retro stuff. True, true. That I mean, that rogue. Those are sort of based loosely mm-hmm. off of those designs a little bit. Yeah. It's just not the cartoon look. It, it's I don't know. You know what I mean? I'm with you. I'm like, with you. I feel like they're they're using that as sort of that route, but still having the comic look to it. I agree. I so, agree. So it's almost no. like yeah, no. So I had no idea how big this guy was until I just read Silver Surfer Black. Man, he's he's become huge lately. 
Yeah. I think everybody wants this guy. Yeah. So with his scale, his height, you know, he's really skinny, but his height is there. Oh, yeah. We got that giant sword that he comes with as well. So I could definitely see this guy somehow showing up in over the next 12 to 18 months. I could definitely see that. I mean, I know that we got the uh, the Venom wave this past year, you know, preparing for Venom 2. But now that Venom 2 got pushed back, I mean, I don't know. Will we see another Venom wave and maybe get Noel as a builder figure? I think Venom's always an option. Yeah. Hasbro. I think at least the next time that we see a Venom wave, Noel will definitely be an option. I agree. I think he has to have that helmet, though, too. You know, don't just do the regular head sculpt. Give us the helmeted version right here, too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, so this is one that was kind of thrown out there in the comments. I don't know much about him. Warstar, he's part of the, uh, the uh, oh, what is it? Guys, help me out in the comments. I just lost my, my mind here. What are they called? What's that group in the outer space with uh, Gladiator? Star Jammers? No, not Star Jammers. The ones uh, Lalandra's part of. Oh, oh man. What are they called? Imperial Guard. Thank you, Jerry. Yeah, Imperial Guard. So here's one that was on Smiles' list. This would be an easy one. This is very similar to the uh, Mandroid. They could just reuse the Crimson Dynamo. Crimson Dynamo, Mandroid, either one of them, yeah. Because I feel like this guy pretty much almost looks like Crimson Dynamo. Mm -hmm. Just repaint it in green. And I don't I mean, see this happening. No, that's too obscure, but it would be easy for them to do. Yeah. Which makes me think they'll probably do it. <laughs> Honestly. I mean, you know, Hasbro's always looking for, for things they can just easily redo. Throw it out yeah. there. And here's what it looked like back in your day, uh, Man Cave. Hey, I, I might have that guy. You got a whole bunch of those. Yep. It's a cool looking figure. And he's got that little backpack there for his little his little friend. Yeah. That's pretty pretty neat looking. And then Chad. Ooh, that'd be a good one. So and again, he, easy. Abomination. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's abomination with a different head. Mm -hmm. Different head and a belt. Feet and everything. It's all abomination, basically. So I definitely want to see all the star jammers though, too. Yeah, mm -hmm. that'd be a cool team. I'm I'm thinking that'll be another box set. Yep. So I don't think that this has to be um, a build a figure, but sometimes Avalanche has got some pretty good size to him. So he's kind of on that that middle scale of if they're going to do it, then you know get it out there to us. Yeah. But the fact that we already know they don't even really care. Uh, oh man, Dave, that's a good one. Yeah, Spider, Spider Slayer robot with Alistair Smythe. That'd be cool. Yeah. Uh, but I think that I think this could be a build a figure, but I think it could also be like these guys said the box set with the uh, Brotherhood with the Brotherhood. Mm -hmm. Then you have your Black Panther Hulkbuster. What you think about that one, Man Cave? Uh, okay. Um, I don't know. I think once the hype gets back out there for the for the uh, Black Panther movie again, I think this could Maybe. be something that they might do. I've just never been such a big fan. I like Black Panther, the character. I've just never liked his stories that much. Uh, I don't know if it's just lack of like villains or I don't know. There's just something that I've just never been able to get so much into his story. Yeah. So a lot of the characters that come out of there, I just don't. I don't get excited about them. So Jacob, oh. I'm with you. I think Spider Hulk probably could be remade again. Yeah. Um, especially since I got this book again, they'll probably you redo it. I'm not trying to do remakes in this video. I'm just trying to do stuff that we've never seen. Yeah, uh, from the new warriors, you have microbe. So we were talking about whether it, this could be used with the blob body. Maybe. I don't think this will happen at all. No, no, I don't see that even being. That's probably not even on their radar. Uh -uh. And then last one I'm going to talk about tonight is our panda pool. <laughs> I don't see it. 
Really? I don't, see it. I, don't know. I don't see that one happening. Well, maybe I don't. Maybe that version right there. I, I might could see that. We need more Deadpool court. Yeah, I think the Deadpool court needs some more members. Definitely. Yeah, I'm all about the Deadpool core. I think that would be cool, but I don't know. I, I think there's probably a lot of other characters they would rather get out. Yes and no. I mean, give us Venom Pool. I mean. That's true. They did. I don't know. All right. So real fast, let's go through these. Tell me which one of these X-Men you would want to pick. Guys in the comments, tell me which one you would want. Armor, Blob, Rock Slide, or the... Let's just say Colossus or Juggernaut. Which one? My pick if I'm having to choose from just these five, is Juggernaut. Yeah. I'm probably with you on that. Mine's armor. Because, you know, I mean, I don't care for the Fox stuff. That is true, Zach. I but wouldn't you... actually buy it either, but man. Oh, no, it'd be awesome, but out of all those that I actually want for my collection, I would say armor. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we're kind of got a, a mix here, mostly Juggy, though. A lot of globs. Lob. Rock slides pretty. Yeah. Nice mix of everything there. Yep. Yeah. I, I got to say that movie Juggernaut would just be cool looking. Yep, yep. I agree. I mean, that, he ripped Deadpool in half. <laughs> so that's got to account for something. Uh-huh. <laughs> All right. We had to pick from the big guys. And I'm going to throw in here that you can remake the Frost Giant and the Goliath, Black Goliath figure. Which one would you pick of this one? I'm going Atlas. Oh. I'm actually going to have to say Stature. I'm going Atlas as well. Eight inch Atlas. <laughs> <laughs> 12 inch Atlas. <laughs> the only reason I say Stature is because I'm, I like the Young Avengers more. Than yes, and we need some more figures on there, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. I think Atlas is going to win this one, guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think so, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Atlas has got this one in the bank. Yep. All right. Four kind of animal-ish figures. We got your Man-Ape, your Orca, Atuma, and your Ursa Major. Mm. I'd have uh, some Man-Ape. Me, too. I, like I said, I think it's the least likely to be made in that iteration, but I think it would be my most wanted in that iteration. Yeah. Mm. I agree. Some Ursa's in the, in the chat here. Yeah, we are. The Ursa. Ursa, 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 Ursa. Yeah. That would be my second one. <laughs> Jerry says Grizzly. I, I don't know <laughs> if he's grizzly. saying the Grizzly or Grizzly. <laughs> 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 oh, now we're getting some man apes catching up here. Yeah, there we go. I would want Man Ape myself, mm -hmm. uh, but if if they can't do that, then my next one would probably be the Orca. Hmm. I think Ursa won it though. I think I, Ursa did win it. I think all four of these would be big sales though. I think most people would would go after these and be happy with them. I don't mm -hmm. think it would. You know, if Hasbro named any of these four as as a build a figure coming up, I don't think anybody'd be upset about it. No. Yeah. All right, looking at Spotty, we got the Madam Web, the uh, Leopardin, Stegron, and the Karn. Stegron. Stegron. Hands Stegron. Yeah. 100%. Definitely. Hands down. Guys in the chat, if y'all can catch up. I would. Uh, I definitely want the Madam Web, though, too, guys. Yeah. Probably from a probably from a standpoint of, um, what would what the word be the the most used in the comic books would be Madame yes, Web, totally by far. You know. Mm -hmm. All right, so she's winning right now in the chat. Nope, there's tied now back with Stegron again. That's a fit. That's a split there, guys. No, uh, I think Madame Web got it. Yeah. <laughs> Old broad. <laughs> <laughs> the old broad. <laughs> oh, yeah, old broads. <laughs> All right, we got our devil dinosaur, our 
Venomized T Rex, our Lockjaw, and our Gorgon. Uh, Devil Dinosaur. Yeah. Devil Dinosaur lockjaw. with, with Lockjaw being the most likely. I want Lockjaw 100%. Yeah. Those, those two are really close for me. But I think from a likely standpoint, Lockjaw is probably just a matter of time. I think they're both a matter of time. Even, even Devil, the Devil yeah. Dinosaur, you think? Gorgon. Gorgon. Uh, man, there's a bunch in there. Woo! Lockjaw, 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 Gorgon, Lockjaw, Lockjaw, yeah. Lockjaw, Gorgon, Venomized T-Rex, Lockjaw. Nobody mm -hmm. for Devil Dinosaur. That's crazy. Huh. Nobody wants the... It's actually surprising. Yeah. I guess a lot of people might be bought some of those other T-Rexes out there and just painted them red and they got a, they got them a Devil Dinosaur. <laughs> I actually saw somebody take like one of the Playmates T-Rexes that actually looked really cool. It's got a nice design. I see it in Target a lot. And they customized it into the Venomized, and it actually looked really good. Wow. It looked really good. I have to see if I can find it, and I'll send it to you, and you can put oh it in God. our next. Yeah. All right, guys. How about our War Star, our Chod, our Comet Groot, or our Watcher? Chod. Oh, my God. I'm going to go with Watcher. Child I'm going to go with Groot. Hmm. Yeah, I would. I really want to replace that Groot. I got. I can't stand that that uh, box set Groot. <laughs> Watchers off to a Watchers off to a big start here. Oh boy, Watcher. Looks like it's. Uh... Yeah, I'm going to say Watcher. <laughs> yeah, Watchers taking over here. We got one. We got one Chod and then nothing but Watchers. Mm -hmm. There's your War Star. Star. He probably just misspelled Watcher. <laughs> <laughs> well, and you know, I, I probably if he shows up in the MCU, it's just going to be even more so. You know, oh, he's already there, like we said. Want him. Well, yeah, I guess he is there. But if he shows up in a bigger, you know, kind of in a bigger role. Yeah. All right, guys, got a few more here. Here's for the Hulks. We got the Amadeus, the A Bomb, Weapon H, and oh. the. Marvel mm. now Hulk. This is a tough one. Tough screen right here. I'm going Weapon H. Mm, I'm going A bomb. Oh man, I'm conflicted between those two. Because I've been, I don't know. I I've been wanting A bomb for the longest time, but I I think I'm gonna go Weapon H. You shouldn't have put these on the same screen, man. That's I'm sorry. Not fair. I'm That's sorry. Not fair. Can we Shit. just say all? <laughs> yeah, yeah. We just need all these. Mm. Definitely A bomb and Weapon H. So. Oh, yeah. So that's a split between those two from everybody. Yeah. A-bomb, A-bomb, A-bomb. I'm getting some more A-bombs. Yep. I just think because A-bomb was in the comics for a lot longer and had, had more oh, of a yeah. story than Weapon yeah. H did. Much more history there. All right, we got your Mindless Ones, your Awesome Android, your Super Adaptoid, and your Dragon Man. Dragon Man. Hands down. Mm. I think it's hard since we have them. I know. Yes. Yeah. If you, if you have a three hundred to five hundred dollar figure already, then yeah, you probably don't want to worry really about it. <laughs> <laughs> but when you don't have the three to five hundred dollar figure, you need him to be redone. Also, Dang. Dragon Man is winning big time, but I want to oh, see yeah. the all, the uh, Super Adaptoid. Wait. Oh, you want to go? Okay. I think I'm going with Awesome Android. I can see that. I can understand that. But yeah, if we didn't have Dragon Man, then I would say Dragon Man for sure. Totally. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, we know none of these are going to get made, so I'm just going to kind of say it. I want Ego. Yeah. What you guys think? Uh, Eleven Tribunal. Man, yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd say Eleven Tribunal probably. But yeah, these have a these have a zero percent chance on mm -hmm. everything on the screen. Yep. If it was ever going to happen, I think Ego would be the one that would happen. He would be the most likely to happen, but it's still never going to happen. Yeah. All right, we got our Zax, our um, Black Dwarf, our Devil Hulk, and our Bi Beast. I'm going with Bi Beast. Yeah, I'd say Bi Beast. I'm there too. 
And guys, I'm going to fly through this one real quick. I'm going to let y'all catch up in the chat if you want to. We'll say it as you get it. Last one here, though, is our searcher, our mangog, our bolstag, and our supreme intelligence. Uh, searcher. Searcher for me. Mangog. Mangog's up there for me, too, via searcher. Um, so back to the previous one, I think it's split between by beast and Zax. Mm -hmm. Zax. It's that's interesting with Zax. Yeah, that's, that's going to be tough. I don't know if they can do yeah. it. So Mangog, Mangog, Mangog. I'm winning guys. Yeah. I think you're going to take this one. But I think both are likely. I think both could. Could happen. Happen if they start doing giant man build figures. Mm -hmm. And I think if they do the deluxe uh, carded dragon man, like we're thinking, then we'll see the Mangog. Yeah. All right, guys. So that is it for tonight. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you're excited for if we actually get any of these as build a figures. I hope Hasbro is watching to see everybody's excitement for this type of figures. Because uh, I'm definitely excited. I've had these lists for years of what I'd like to see from Hasbro to make for these build of figures. Get out there and do it, guys. Get these sculpts out there for us because us, us fans are willing to pay for it. We're willing to, to, to get these figures in our hands, in our collections, and we're really excited about seeing it, guys. So I appreciate y'all joining the live stream with us. So anything else you guys want to say before we get off of here? Yeah. Hey, if you guys uh, go check out Man Cave Collectibles Reviews, uh, Zach Legend, go and uh, check our channels out. Subscribe. Obviously, subscribe to Zach Jack Dan if you're not already, so you can kind of keep up with uh, our live streams that will be hosted on his going forward. Uh, there may be some thrown in on mine and Zach's channel as well, so uh, definitely subscribe to all three channels and hit that like button on this video just so it gets out there for other people to, to be able to see and check out. Yeah. So, guys, uh, we may, we'll see uh, how it goes. I don't know how busy we will be. I know Zach will be throwing out all kinds of videos on Friday with the Hasbro announcements. So, get ready to Zach's channel and, and be ready for that. Uh, but we're going to see all kinds of brand new news from Hasbro on all of our favorite brands. Uh, and we may decide to do an early live stream hmm. impromptu that night. We'll see. Uh, so, guys, I appreciate y'all joining us, and we will talk to you guys later.